Only the first area, I guess. Hell yeah. Uh, point three. What can I use? Fucking iron scraps. Point one. <laughs> And I, uh, I guess use the jerky. I don't have water, but keep going. Nice. I'm so like tired of the first area. Even when I'm coming back, I was already here before, but it still seems nice to be somewhere else. And I can't wait to explore the marshlands and the desert. To be honest, we didn't really like clear up any inventory space. We were basically full just going to the town, but... You know, fighting monsters, we're gonna be using those pots I had with me, I have with me right now. And... What gate is it? Oh, that's like a fort. Okay, because we are here, right? Yeah. Marshlands. So you can... Oh, okay. So we can just go one by one. We can always go to the marshlands too. We don't have to go back to the first area to go there. So we keep going here. Oh, we are already here, I guess. And just left. Yeah, that's the lon lonely tower. So I'm going to the town first. So we can like see what we can craft, what we want to uh, buy and sell. And talk to that NPC because we don't know what they're gonna tell me. That's like a main quest line. Yeah, I, I can already tell I'm going faster. Even when not sprinting because I'm wearing that hat. Should I fight that deer? That fucking deer fucked me up once. I killed multiple, but once you are out of stamina, you're fucked. I mean, I could. I don't know if I should, though. If the, is there a reason to do it? We can poison him. That's definitely gonna help. If you can. Actually, I actually don't know if you can poison or not. Yeah, he fucks up your posture like crazy. <laughs> oh, get fucked. I never used the hard attack there. Oh shit, that push though. Maybe I should push more often. I should probably st stop attacking now and just let him get poisoned harder and harder. Oh yeah, this guy is no joke. Look at my stamina. That's a big yikes and I'm dead. <laughs> nice. Yeah, with this guy you have to like roll around and actually avoid his attacks. Second time I died to those and every single time I was uh, out of stamina and that's why I died. Oh, he saved us. So he's in this land too. And I guess the... Where's my backpack? I can't see shit. Oh. 
I guess the uh, poison was completely useless against that deer. Because other people just get fucked by poison. He didn't give a fuck. Ooh. Assassin elixir. And I guess I could take that. I'll just leave it here. It's way too... Heavy. Is this the same guy? Who are you? Can you help me? Thank you for your chat, Ambia. Who are you? Yeah, that's the same guy. He says the same stuff. Need shelter, storage, power. I find you probably needed more than I do. I think it's gonna give me the same shitty stuff that I don't really need. I could ask for power or just say I don't need anything. I'm just gonna say I don't need anything. Okay. And okay, I guess I can't talk to him anymore. Interesting, so you can talk to him probably in all the regions. Because I talked to him in the first first area too. Maybe you get something for talking to him four times, if there is four areas. Oh. Oh, my... My use just doesn't work. Okay, that's what I couldn't talk to him. Oh, okay. So, maybe like... Oh god, but if I put down the... If I put down the, the tent, can I... Use it? Alright, let's try again. Oops, I can't use it. Let's try doing that. No, I can't use it. Oh, I can't disassemble either now. Yikes. I mean, this is the first time it ever happened to me. Okay, this doesn't do anything. Go back to main menu, I guess. Hopefully that's gonna do something. It has to be a bug. I think he was supposed to disappear, that NPC, because he always disappears after. Oh yeah, he's not here and I can do stuff now. Yeah, that's a bug, I guess. It just disappears. Was my H is my HP falling down? No, it should be healing. Where am I though? Am I closer to the town or did I fuck up big time? Oh, it's night time. So. This looks like an edge of the map, so that's west. Oh, so we are somewhere here. Okay, so we should go north-east. 
Oh god, what is this? Oh, those fuckers. Are you serious? They are here? I don't want to fight them. I might have to though. Oh god, I am alone too. Maybe I should have slept in that cave. Is there exactly the same? Let's see. If that's the same ambush chance if I place the tent here. Zero percent ambush chance. Really? I guess. Interesting. Even with monsters around? Maybe that's thanks to the camouflage. But I was getting percentage even in that fortress. Where there was no enemies, and there is enemies here. And I had 0%. So that's weird. Oh, I don't have any water. Oh shit, okay, that's actually bad. Oh god, your stamina decreases 3 times faster. Yeah, that's bad. Let's say yikes. Okay, so I just fucked myself over, basically. Instead of fighting those guys, now we have to run. So where are we? Oh god, there's a lot of them. Are those even the same guys I'm thinking of? I think so. Oh, we are here, old windmill. It looks like it. Oh shit, so we're actually close to the town. Nice. Yeah, those fuckers are OP. Like, if you rush them and you have a good weapon like I do, you can still kill them, but... It's so dumb, like, I was fighting four of them at once, and they have a healing ability, like a area of effect, and they were all healing each other, and they had, like, infinite, basically infinite healing, because, like, all four of them would cast it, one after another. It's so dumb. It's, it's absolutely broken. No, don't gather tree. Can I open this chest, please? Can we even, like... What is... Wait, what? Oh god, am I... I'm here! Oh shit. Oh fuck, I'm actually far. So does the temple... Right? Yeah. Yes. We are here. Oh fuck, so I absolutely fucked myself over. We have to go like around, I don't know what, what's here even. It's probably some hard area. I need to go to town first. Sell, buy, drink water. Oh god, we can't even go here I think. Uh... Yeah, that sucks. Hopefully that's like a friendly area or something, I don't know. I bet there's gonna be so elemental fucking monsters here. It doesn't seem like this is a friendly place. There might be like a boss here or something. There's no monsters around though. But it looks sketchy. That's for sure. Those are hives. There. To east. Yep. We are here. Cavalt of the Wind Temple. I mean, since we are here we could check it out. 
but I bet you go to like un you go inside to like a dungeon or something. Oh, Palladium raid. Or oh, Palladium, sorry, no Palladium. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna look if we can see like any enemies or entrance. I bet there is an entrance, and that's just an actual uh, an actual dungeon. Yeah, this looks sketchy as fuck. There has to be like a boss or something here, or entrance to a dungeon. Oh shit. Oh, that's one of those guys, but I think he's uh, not a friendly one. Can we target him? We can, okay, this is an enemy. Yep. We're gonna stay away for now. I've seen enough. We're gonna come back and fuck him up though. I don't know if I want to, like, it seems like he's like immediately uh, gonna attack us. He's not a friendly one. But at the same time, I'm kinda scared that my friend from the cave, he's the same race. And I'm, I'm, I'm afraid he's gonna be angry and that he won't like us anymore because we attacked his, like, bodies from this temple or something. So we basically have to go northwest. Right? Okay, that's to the east, that's the pylon, east, yeah, so we have to like go northwest until we see water. Is that a golem? Those are not the hive monsters. What the fuck is this? That might be one of the golems they were talking about. Wait, what the fuck? That looks like a fucking spectral tiger with a... Scorpion tail. What the? Like a stinger. What the fuck is this? Oh shit! It, it, it actually is what I just described. Like a chimera. That's like a chimera or whatever. What the fuck are you? Okay, this is. What is this? Is this an enemy? What the fuck is this place? Okay, this looks like some fucking crazy strong monster. That's like a hy Hymera, whatever they call them. It's like partially lion, uh, scorpion, and like fucking other bullshit. It doesn't look like there is like more of them around. That's just a uh, one strong enemy and that's why I'm afraid if he's one of a kind he's definitely super strong and he looks strong what the fuck yeah to come here oh let's see so that's like a ruined settlement no that's not it west and this is south. Okay, so this is here. I guess we can leave something like that. I could have like a piece of paper where I'm writing down stuff. But, ah, uh, whatever. Most people playing this game do that. They just write down like que uh, quest info and shit like this. I'm, I'm too lazy. Okay, this way. Yep. Already know where we are. Bam, bam, bam. 
we got so much money, like... I think I'm gonna buy some skills, maybe. From this NPC. I might. I don't think you can... Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think you can change the... You, get, you have like three points for NPCs uh, that you want to uh, unlock like paths with and I don't think you can change that later. Same way you can't change the faction. I, I picked those guys in this town, the first ones I basically met and I think that's it. There is no swapping. You have to play the game with two different characters to join different factions. Kinda sucks because at first I, I wanted to join the Holy Crusade or whatever they are called. So we probably can't anymore. But I'm gonna most likely just do other characters too. I was going to play with someone uh, in a co-op mode with a different character so I might pick a different faction then and see what happens. But there is a, like a replayability in this game, that's for sure. Like your character is, is like a blank page that you can fill with, you know, different fighting styles and skills and shit, but there is definitely some choices that you are committed to, for sure. Like, the, the one in the first town was kinda good. 15, 15 HP, 15 stamina, 15 mana passive. And this guy here g gave me like 40 HP passive, so... They are pretty good for me, that's for sure, but I'm just worried that I'm gonna meet some guys with like very good skill trees for me that I'm gonna love. I'm not gonna be able to get skills from them because I'm gonna be locked away from that. I don't think you can come back and like re revert it, even that you spend money, so you would technically uh, lose on it, but. I don't think you can even like get your points back. I think you just have three points you can use for three different NPCs and that's it. And of course there is a lot of uh, like guys that uh, give you magic and stuff. And I don't care about those. But yeah. So we are not selling anything for now. And I have a lot of stuff. Like I don't know how we are gonna manage to even loot anything with all the gear right now. Okay, take this off so we are not we are still overweight. Oof. Okay, this guy. Oh I probably have to uh, exchange my gold bars for money. See this guy, he gave me maximum health 40, and he actually has good attacks. They are expensive, but I'm rich right now, but I'm gonna spend all my money if I buy those. It's a good one though. 10 stamina, 8 second cooldown. It requires the rage boon, but I can enrage. I have a enrage boon actually from here from the same guy. Oh, you need this one or this one. You don't have to get both, okay. Stream bleeding. I mean, it's cool and all, but I'm not gonna spend 600 coins right now on, on a bow skill. I might make a second character that's gonna specialize in bows for sure. I kinda want to make a mage, but I also want to like go full all out bows with some character. Light gear and bows, that would be cool. That 
that would be 1200 for this. But the Feral Strike, like... Yeah. I wonder if it consumes it, like, required, but does it mean that it's gonna consume the boon, or...? If it consumes it, I don't know if it's worth it. If it only requires the boon, and then you can do that attack, then it's then it's good. Or consuming, okay, this, it says actually. Oh, this just requires, okay. So this requires Rage Boon, this consumes a Rage Boon. Uh, mm, I guess if you are getting low, like it's about to run out, maybe that's good. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. Not yet. It's not the time. You're gonna wait. I'm not gonna spend that much money on something that I might never use. Oh, here we go again. I'm gonna be talking to an NPC next to the furnace that just boils you in your armor. Look, if I stay here and talk, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> it's so dumb. You have to be like... Oh my god, I'm already too hot. How the fuck did I manage to do that last time? Okay, just talk quick. Oh shit, I have to actually exchange money. So what do we want? So beast golem stuff. Beast golem axe halberd. I might buy those recipes. Let's see. Beast Golem Axe, I already know this one. So is this one hand? Yeah, it looks like. It looks like it. Bleeding. I don't know if poison or bleeding is better. I bet some enemies are Im immune to poison, some enemies are immune to bleeding. Because that deer didn't give a fuck about poison at all. Those horror, horror things are poison. Okay, so let's see, uh, it's 28, 10, 29. Huh. So the, the horror stuff is better, and I can w make one too. It doesn't, like, even wait a lot. I might carry that to... I might carry that to swap my two hand and actually we have to sell one of those. We can sell that. Oh shit, that el elixir is sick. Assassin elixir. That's a good one. And do we sell that? Yeah, we don't have wine to even craft with this. Uh, keep this for now. Okay, sell that. I guess we can sell one of the gold ingots. Wait. They're breaking? What? How is this spoiling? How the fuck is gold spoiling? What? Okay, this makes no sense. Wait, what? Are you serious? How the fuck does it make any sense? Is it getting rusty or something? Gold? Uh, yeah, that's a yikes for me. Like, what? So I can't carry gold around. I'm gonna have to, like... 
break it down to money again. Oh, that's so stupid. Holy shit. Uh, I guess, good thing I want to buy stuff here. Blacksmith Vintage Hammer. I wonder, you probably need that for a quest or something. That's 300. Jesus. That Warbo though. If I was a full bow character, I would be going for that immediately. Okay, so let's think about those armors too, right? Runic. Let's see the stamina costs. This is extremely good for like a war mage. Oh yeah, and I don't need those. Uh, that sucks. Yeah. Stamina cost is something we don't want to go for. I already struggle. We actually need to prevent the stamina from going low that fast. Okay, fun. We want... We have a horror axe. Horror bow, horror shield. Oh, that's it? Oh, that sucks. Oh, that actually sucks. I don't need horror shield. I guess we can learn how to make a horror bow, why not? We already know how to make a horror axe. Tourney. Claymore. Oh. Yeah, that gold... Uh, like, condition bar makes no sense at all. I don't know what they were thinking. Is this a bug or... It has to be a bug. Like, how could you make a gold that spoils in your inventory like food? I actually didn't see any... It's been like a, quite a while since this game came out. And I didn't see any... New big updates. Maybe I missed them. Maybe I like... Maybe they did update the game and I just didn't see it. I'm not saying that there, there wasn't any, but I didn't see any, so... Oh god, okay, buy this shit for now. Move away from the furnace. Before we just get some fucking heat strokes. Our bow. Minor somewhat, right? Okay, I'm gonna go bite that mask probably from those guys. Let's see. Oh god, this. Yeah, it's gonna be a big problem, my inventory space. But those gold bars, that's just like a nail in the coffin for me when I'm judging this game. How are my gold bars just spoiling in my inventory? Or getting rusty, whatever, however you want to call it. What can happen to gold in a couple days carrying them around in your bag? I don't get it. Yeah, and we, if we want to carry around or like use a one-handed weapon, we're gonna have to carry this around in my backpack. And that's another nine. <laughs> I have so many items we, we can't use. I'm gonna have to definitely sell the potions first. <sighs> okay, go for the mask. Mask first. I'm gonna end up buying those skills from this guy only because I don't have space for money. That's gonna be the only reason. Yeah, but I can't believe that's actually a thing. That the gold bar can spoil. And like what? Am I gonna be... Am I gonna get a message that the gold bar has spoiled in my inventory? Like what? What is this? I've never seen that before. Oh, I guess those, that's the big face next to the town on your minimap. Okay. 
Can I even go? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, Beast Golem Scraps. Okay, I remember that. I wonder if they're gonna give me a mask. That would suck if I buy one and they're gonna give me one. So that's minus 8. 10 resistance, 8 impact. Yeah, that's that's actually like good trade. Movement speed minus 2 though, that's kind of shitty. Mana cost 2, but... Uh, you know, I don't really care about the mana cost that much. Like, kinda a little, but not really. But like, this is 2 free. This is 10, 8, so, and this minus 8 stamina cost. I feel like, I feel like we have to use that. Yeah, we are missing protection from the blue sand then. We're not gonna have the protection. The resistance actually and impact resistance are good though on this one. Oh, on the on the mask. So we're gonna be missing the the elemental resistances for sure. And I still don't know what protection is, but I guess. But I think that mask is worth it, like really worth it. So this is a demon mask, Oni. Cut. This has no name, I guess. I feel like the cat looks kinda creepy because it's like, you know, too friendly and smiling. This is like a meh. I like the demon. Demon is kinda cool. Hmm. Okay, so all this gear has a minus movement speed, but all has minus stamina cost. That's really good. That set is probably really good. Like, I would be able to roll around and just like, you know... Roll and attack and never uh, uh, run out of stamina. It would be awesome to just run around with this, like swapping your gear for this and run, but like all those items are extremely heavy. <laughs> oh, we can sell that. Oh, we can sell that too. But we actually, oh, that, that doesn't wait at all. Okay, this is this is a good thing to carry for currency. I'm, I'm, I'd rather sell my gold ingots right now. That apparently are spoiling in my inventory. Mm. Yeah. I would probably have to get rid of the fi fishing harpoon. I'm not gonna even sell those. I might just like drop them in the middle of the town or here maybe. Damn it. I'm gonna drop this here. Pickaxe. Uh, pickaxe is way more important though. We need those veins. Uh, mind, that's for sure. Like, being far away from home, it's so shitty. Like, you don't have a big pot in the middle of the town either. I could actually leave it in the town here and just come back and cook. And the alchemy kit too. I could do that with those. Okay, buy the mask for sure first. 
maybe the armor, how good it is compared to mine. Yeah, it's like... The stamina is really important, but like if you compare those, there's nothing to compare really. I just really wonder how much the protection does. We have no idea what protection is. Like impact resistance, that's the protection from uh, losing posture, getting knocked down, all that stuff when you're blocking. Resistance is uh, resistance against uh, you know damage. But what is, what is protection? The game never explains those things to you. I guess maybe on Wikipedia I could check it out. Maybe that would be worth it. Wait. I'm gonna actually maybe see. Because it's kind of stupid how they never explained that. One second. Outward Vicky Protection. Because attributes. I guess that would be a multiplier. That's the only thing that comes to my mind. Because it makes no sense that they... Oh, it's, it's a flat uh, damage reduction from all kinds of attacks. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, no, yeah, yeah. Just what I thought. Physical is non non magic attacks. Impact is the posture. Yeah. So protection, we don't know how much, but it helps for sure with all kinds of attacks. Oh my god. Yeah, but at, at least the helmet, at least the helmet. Yeah, because... Um, right now we have such a huge stamina problem, at least the helmet we have to swap. I think I'm gonna take the card. Like, this just looks stupid, this... Meh. Maybe the Oni mask though. I like both the cat and Oni is kinda cool. Demon. But this is the creepiest one, like the cat. Yeah, protection is apparently like a flat uh, def defense against every single attack in the game. Uh, I'm not doing a bow build, I'm just carrying an extra bow. In case I want to attack something from far away. I'm mainly using melee weapons for now. Like I've been using a, a dagger for a while. Then I swapped to a two hand because it's a very good mace. I don't really know fully what I want to go for yet. But I'm basically going for a melee build and just using a bow for a secondary and my pistol too. Okay, just take the cat mask. And sell another gold bar. Wait. Oh, okay, okay, because it's a. Uh, yeah, 115, yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Charcrams, yeah. I'm, hmm. I kinda, I'm kinda tempted to do like something with daggers, because the backstops are very fun to use. I just like, I'm not sure if, if it's better to go light gear or full protection, because I've been having a lot of trouble with uh, stamina management. That's why I'm uh, changing my helmet right now. You can't go full full protection because you're getting fucked with stamina.
with the in sign. This one? I guess I never talked to him. Oh, he gave me oh paladium spikes, okay. Yeah, traps are good. I guess maybe he's gonna give me more stuff later. Yeah, traps are good. I'm always carrying like a lot of stuff for traps. I'm gonna keep the Paladin spikes though. Can you break them down? Oh, you can, okay. Good to know. No, he gave me spikes and trap. Uh, he gave me like tripwire, uh, paladino spikes and iron. He said he's gonna make it up to me, so maybe he's gonna give more stuff later. Okay, I guess I'm gonna test our stamina in combat now and see if it's actually gonna be better with the with the mask. I'm gonna put this for now though because we want to repair that. I didn't I don't really know why I took this with me but whatever. Okay so I'm gonna definitely use my alchemy stuff and my pot in here because it's all those items are so heavy. I just can't carry them around anymore. We are about to maybe make a horror weapon too. I might start using like a one hand again. We'll see. I feel like a one hand with less with less uh, physical damage, but like a bleed or a bleed or a poison would be better. Because you can hit someone and run a run around when they are bleeding. Okay, put those here so every time we go back to town we can actually cook and make potions. Those items are way too heavy to carry those around. Tent is is enough. Okay. So I'm gonna sleep. Repair my stuff too. Okay, so that's like uh, 150. That would be... I'm gonna be too hot, really? I guess fuck it. Four, four, let's go. I guess because the fire is next to my tent? Maybe the tent itself. Wait, it's still dark? Oh, I'm only slightly too hot. Just drink water and that's it. I'm gonna be good. Food. Uh, I don't really want to eat my jerky now. Oh, he just got hungry. Oh, that's not bad. We can eat in a second here. I guess. Or just eat the turni turnips. Let's eat two of those. And actually, one was probably enough. Okay, good. Yeah, like, all those potions we have to start using. And I think I'm gonna have to sell some of my crafting parts. 
Maybe I was supposed to leave some back at home. Because we're gonna have to sell them now. Or we can cook the egg. I want to keep that helmet. It just it waits a lot. I don't want to sell it for sure. Because it's better to have one of the... Uh, heavy armor helmets. Oh, we never cooked that. Bullet turmip. Yeah, I'm. I'm not doing a magic character right now. I just took like the. I took 20 mana, the lowest possible amount, just to have some for for like buff spells, and I have extra 15 from uh, passive. So in total, I have 35 mana just for five health and five stamina. I'm not doing a mage right now though, that's for sure. I'm like melee plus pistols and bows. Maybe future characters I will do like a bow character and a magic character, we will see. Okay, so I'm kind of scared all my money will start spoiling. No idea why gold ingots can spoil, but apparently that's a thing in this game. So maybe I'm gonna spend it on... Maybe I'm gonna spend it on skills here. So I could go for a one hand horror axe because we have enough uh, materials. Oh shit, I have to craft this bullshit though. We have to buy this and those. I have a shit ton at home but I didn't bring them with, with me of course. Wait, that's 29, 27. Oh, I guess, I guess the poison makes up for it. It's still weird how like the mace I got from the first town is way better than those items. I guess the poison is just that strong. It recompensates the, the physical damage. Extreme poison on you, so yeah. I bet this is really good. I I have this this material too, so I'm just like I don't really like axes. I'm kind of disappointed they didn't let me craft a sword or something or a mace. There's only an axe and a bow. Oh, bow needs two of those. Oh shit! Extreme poison on use too. Yeah, this bow is probably amazing. I was wondering if you can like get poison arrows. And apparently it's a poison bow. Oh, you need war bow. Oh, shit. You need the 1k bow for this. And this is probably some endgame stuff. For sure. Yeah. I've been using the racks all the time. I have like 18 of fire racks on me. And 17 linen cloth, so I can always craft more. I might craft this. Okay, it, it says weapons, so there's no way we use this for armors. It says only weapons, so... I'm just like... I'm not sure if they're gonna let me craft a sword or a mace later on from this. It looks like there's only an axe and a bow here. Yeah, her axe. Sh oh, there's a shield, okay. It's a shield too. I could buy this recipe just to have it. Fuck it, buy that. Oh shit, this has minus. Wait, what? 
How the fuck did I miss that compared to the mask? Wait, that's way better, right? One protection, 13... Wait, what the fuck? Oh shit, I wasted money on the mask then. I thought that this had all like... Minus stats for different shit. I guess I never checked the mask. That's way better. It has pr one protection too. This is actually really good. Minus 10 stamina cost. And a lot of poison uh, resistance. Mask looks cool, but I guess this is extremely good. Elite hood. So protection 1, resistance 13. Impact 9, extra 30 for poison, that's very very good. Hot weather defense too. How, how the fuck is this that good? And that's elite hood. Oh, I guess other things are for the plate set. The hood is the only part in this. I guess take that. Yeah, the horror axe doesn't seem good at all. Yeah, this seems good. Well, I guess I wasted money on the mask, but it looks cool though. <laughs> this looks horrible. <laughs> this looks so bad. It's a really good helmet though, so we have to wear that. Not too bad I have all this gear on me right now. That's gonna take a lot of my weight. Okay, so we have that now. Uh, let's see the shield. Best use a deadly combination with a one-handed axe, also made of cheating. Oh, fun shield, huh? So I wonder if this gives you like a buff for the axe. Because it says it's a best combination with the axe, but... Oh, what the hell? It actually... Wow, that's kind of stupid. Attack speed from 1.1 goes to 0.9. And it's the same weapon, just modified. That's kind of dumb. 28, 29. Actually, when it comes to damage, this is a very good weapon. If I went for the... Dagger... And one-handed build, again. Like, the impact on Brutal Mace, a Great Mace is very, very good. But the damage isn't as good as it, as it could be. Impact is where it's at, though. I'm just swinging and, like, knocking down multiple enemies. Should I craft that? Something cool. No, I'm not playing co-op right now. I'm blank alone. I might do our second playthrough with someone eventually. I also like to like find out stuff myself. I don't want to really see any any skills or items that I didn't discover myself. I want to play like blind. Just discover things. If I fuck up then whatever. Sometimes you lose stuff. But at least you learn the game by yourself. Hmm. 
I mean, I'm gonna get a lot of weight back by doing this anyway. So I might just craft this, because why not? We're gonna test it out. If it sucks, then whatever. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like the poison will be really good. And we can, we can combine poison with like different effects too. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to any, I don't want any f uh, handouts. It's ruining the game, like the entire, the entire point of an RPG is just gearing up slowly, exploring the, the world and just getting fucked over by stronger enemies. Getting uh, end endgame items is just like ruining the game for yourself. People would do the same thing in Borderlands, I remember. A guy had like a super powerful pistol and he would give it to everyone in in the game, then, then leave and keep it. So it would like duplicate. Okay, I think I'm gonna make this. We don't have two for the bow and the warbow is really expensive, so... We need Fang Axe, Iron Great Axe, two of those. How expensive is the... Oh, okay, Iron Great Axe is just 25. I need two of those, that's kind of expensive, but... Oh, well, I fucked up by not... Taking those with me. So we need this. Wait, we don't know how to make that one? No, we do, okay. Wait, that's... Oh my god, I created a fucking great ox. Oh my fucking god, are you serious? Yikes. So I don't know how to make an axe. I just know how to make a great. Oh my fucking god. Kill me now. Good thing we have a lot of money. That I'm just wasting. Fang axe. This was the one. I just made a great axe. Great. And he has one of those now only. Oh my fucking god, man. I'm so glad I fucked up like that. And I have so many of those fangs back at home too. <sighs> okay, we need one. Thank god, the fang axe. Fang axe. Fang axe, okay, we need one. Iron Axe. There you go. And I got an achievement. Nice. Uh, the worst thing is we have to like put this in our inventory now. <laughs> I mean that's five, so this is four extra. It still sucks though. I wish I could like put a, a box here and make this my camp. I left the alchemy thing and the uh, pot. Well, that looks cool, actually. I wish I could make a camp here and like just leave my stuff. I, b I guess I can just drop stuff on the ground and it shouldn't despawn, but... Yeah. We can l uh, use a lot of traps going for harder enemies too. 
And eventually we have to like break this down for silver. Because apparently it's spoiling in my inventory. So there is that. I think I might actually like... I might buy some skills here just to spend the money. Even though I don't really want them for now. It's six hundo each, but... So this seems cool because it requires a Rage Boom, but it doesn't say it consumes one. This one says it's a, it consumes the Rage Boom. Consuming your Rage Boom in the process. Yeah, we might get this at least. That's 600. Can we sell to you? We can't. Six. Oh, Master Trader Boots. Oh, it waits only one, two. Movement speed 15. Stamina cost minus five. Ooh. Do I want that? Pouch bonus too. Bro, that's... Damn. Okay, those boots are pretty cool. Those boots are pretty cool. I'm taking that. It weights one, so that's, that's the kind of gear you can keep on your... And like use it when you have to travel and shit. And actually that's that's even good for like fighting for now. It's not that bad. Being so fast and less stamina cost. Uh, oh my god. This way it's only one, two event. I'm kinda disappointed I bought this mask and I got something better immediately. We could get back like 45 out of 150 we spend. I might drop it on the ground in the... Uh, I might test dropping stuff in the town by dropping something shitty. You receive so two more. I kind of want to get rid of some of those occult remains. Oh, the iron scraps, what the fuck? Sell them. Yeah, those things... I'm kind of... Disappointed that I took all of those items with me because I'm gonna have to s sell them very soon. I'm gonna keep those because that, that's like money stored in like very light rubies. It's a really good way to, to actually store money. So this you can... You can actually buy and sell for the same price too. The only f the only one is sh sh that shitty is gold because it apparently spoils. You just can take it, go to another town, and exchange it again immediately before you get fucked over. Yeah. I like the mask, I might sell it though, even that I just bought it. No, it's just like, it's worse at every single possible... Every single possible way, it's just worse. It looks cool, but it's worse in every single way. <laughs> like, I can't believe I missed that elite hood. 
and both that garbage mask. Yeah, sadly we are selling that. Those boots are nice. They even have cold weather resistance. Just like in general, better. Fucking shit. Look at this. Uh, I might even. I don't know. Maybe I should like even. Oh, that's 14 in the inventory. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a yikes. I swear, if this fucking disappears... Look at my speed! I'm not even sprinting! Meow. That's fucking insane. I really like that. Those boots are cool. Oh, my mace though... Carrying it around is a... A burden. So you buy this. Oh, you can't get piercing shot. It's one or the other. I still want this one, I think. I still think we want this. It's kind of weird how like this is all bow stuff. Be be besides this, this is all bow stuff. And then you go for a final one, it's a... Uh... It's a melee weapon skill. Yeah, that's very, very weird. This one is kind of cool. I, I'm not gonna make a, this this guy a bow character. I might make a bow, different bow character though, so go for that. Yeah. Predator leap. And I don't know about this one. Like spending 600 with this. Extreme bleeding and pain is good. But you have to consume the rage burn. So you have to, at f in the first place you have to have the rage burn. And then you have to consume it so you don't have the bonus damage anymore. So I don't really know if that's, like, very good. We would have to, like, spend almost the entire cash we have right now. And we have to, like, bind our skills again now. What was this one? Missed. Oh, the eternal damage and eternal resistance. Okay. And that's the random boon. That just has a cooldown. I mean, you can use it from this many, I think, too. So we could just bind this to two. Backstab. E. Yeah, and this seems this seems okay now. Oh, we know the pummel counter too. This requires a. Oh, we have to bind the the leap too. This is pretty fucking good too. 
Mace Infusion. You can block an elemental attack and just infuse your weapon. That seems amazing. That seems really good. You need a mace though, one-handed mace. And I have a good one back home. I'm just not using it anymore. I really hope this axe is gonna be good. I'm running out of the... Uh, slots. Kinda sucks. I would have to like unbind one of the bow skills. I wish like if I switch to a bow that my entire it's not work it's not like this, right? Wait. No no, it just like Okay, it doesn't okay, for a second I thought it was working like that. It doesn't, right? Yeah, it just changes the color. Yeah, I wish it, when I change the weapon, it would be assigned to the weapon what kind of uh, skills I want to have bound here. It sucks that it doesn't do this. I wish it, if I switched to bow, it would all change to bow skills. Okay, so like... Keep this, but sniper shot we can unbind. And we can go this to five and two. Two is gonna be. Where is it? The predator leap. It's kind of close to the fucking... Maybe I should swap... I probably should swap those. Oh, what the fuck? Uh. Skill... Invasion... I guess this, so I don't misclick. And next to each other are 1 and 2, so we get the Rage Boon, and then we can jump. Kinda cool. Okay, we should be good, but my inventory is a mess right now. Like all the crafting materials are so heavy. We can go fight something strong, use potions, use uh, spikes, all that stuff, right? But okay, and all the gold ingots I have on me right now are. Like pristine, we just have to remember that it can spoil, and it will, eventually. So we have to be careful. Like, really careful. And I kinda want to, like, drop something here. I'm gonna drop, like, a useless item here. Something I'm not really worried about, and see if it's gonna stay here forever. One travel ration, sure. I guess we're gonna drop this one. I might run out of food actually, but... Okay, drop one. I think it's gonna stay here forever. Okay, so that should be a really good combo. Like, we are not gonna run out of uh, stamina that fast. And we're gonna be able to like poison someone. And backstab them and do all that kind of shit. Well, we can basically poison and bleed now. Extreme poison and bleed. So we poison, bleed and they just like run around with them and they are slowly dying. That should be like... There is no enough impact, like with this one. But yeah, we should. We should be good when it comes to... Dealing with enemies. We can go like fight some something strong now. 
and just start testing our build. I wish we, could, we had like better looking helmet, but you can't have everything, right? The helmet is very strong, so... Let's see, like, they don't sell Brutal Maces, sadly, so I can't like sell it and not worry that we're not gonna ever get it again. So that sucks. Yeah, the 9 is a very, very... heavy thing to carry. But we can, you know, put traps down, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna fight something strong and use all the traps. Fuck it. Oh, we had to talk to the lady. We never did that. I don't even know where she is. Was that the... Was that the one from the main quest? I guess we can check those NPCs. Oh, the chakrams. Nerf gas, huh? Mist potion, fire eyes. I have three gravel beetles. I could buy three blood mushrooms, but even more potions, that's gonna be very heavy, right? Maybe we should chill with the health potions for now, because I have so many. We probably should chill with those. I'm just gonna use those potions in, in fights. Blue chamber itself, okay. Nothing suspicious, anyone acting out of place, especially anyone who has important business being discussed today. Okay. Oh, I'm hungry. Well, well then. Why am I getting so hungry so fast? Okay. Yeah, so I, I knew there is gonna be something in that chamber. It was so empty, there is gonna be NPCs all around the place for, uh, for sure now. Let's see. Since I'm here, let's just continue the main story and see what happens. Maybe they're gonna tell us to fight something strong. Uh, I might go to that wind... Uh, ...place where the... ...where the, you know... ...the crazy... ...alien guy was. Maybe we're gonna fight him, I don't know how strong he is. What the fuck, they have a hyena? And I thought that's gonna be like full of NPCs, I guess not. Oh, we have to talk to them. Oh my god, that kind of quest. Oh shit, this guy. Oh, you look fucking badass. Who are you? I drop all the chamber lords here over issues that don't matter. We should be discussing strategies to defend ourselves from Levant. Alex and Simeon. Oh, 
Oh shit, okay. So in Hallowed Marsh, someone got fucked on. Damian Lockwell. Okay, so there's people missing. Save me, what the fuck? They like made her. Oh shit. I think she's not human anymore. That's that's the girl that went for the holy expedition or whatever they're called. Huh. This guy helped me, I think, in the mana mountain. Is this guy smoking? Girl? Whoever he is? Okay. They're all basically just bitching. Oh shit, we can talk to this one. Today really makes me nervous. Such immense shift in the status quo are never good for business. I just hope our headmaster knows what he's doing. Huh. Jesus, they all just... Okay, will I have to pick? Yes, there's a lot of unhappy people here on my side. Okay. Check the inn to see if they're arrived in Berbt yet. Okay, let's go to inn. What the fuck is this hyena doing here? <laughs> I killed the same wa the same ones outside. Oh, can we talk to you? Capros. Oh, he's a fucking uh, rogue. Ah. Interesting. Okay. I might talk to those guys, maybe? We would have to go to the marshlands. See, like, this is the this is the weird part when we, like, buying skills. If you spend that uh, extra uh, skill point to unlock the, like, the entire tree, you are locked uh, away from the others. So I, I got two, and I have one more. Oh shit! They act—they um, actually blew up the fucking thing, and no one cares. What the fuck? Oh my god! What the fuck is happening? Oh, the fucking hyena too. Are you kidding me? Who the fuck do I fight? Oh, everyone. You too? No. Oh, just this guy. Can I loot? Fuck. 
fuck it, just sold it. Oh god, all of those fucking rogue guys. I just I was just talking about them that I want to join them. Where the fuck is everyone else? Move along, I have combat strategies. Oh, the desert guys. Yeah. Guess you weren't as much of an asset as we hoped, though. There we go. It can be hope. This was planned by an expert on top of any damage their explosives might have done. They've taken prisoners. I saw them kidnap Risa and Balthazar and take them below the chamber while I was dealing with these Turks. Where is it though? Oh god, we have to. Oh, there is the way. We have to go. Please don't die here. Okay, we're gonna have to drop this shit. Get it later. Oh, oh that's mine. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I was about to say, did I get a second one of those? Iron Axe. We can sell that shit later. Necropolis? Oh shit, what is this? I like that there is like a kind of a mystery and a main quest going on right now though. It was kind of scuffed, you know, that like there is no so any sign of the uh, explosion, nothing was broken. There is no dead bodies or blood on the ground or anything, but you know, that indie dev team and shit like. It's kind of sad because the game could be, be way better, but you have to like understand why it's not better, right? Too bad, like there's no more money pumped by like a triple A teams uh, supporting like devs like this one instead of making shitty games and a good game like this one. They probably just didn't have enough money to, you know, do everything they wanted to do. Okay, first time using my... Those, gonna... Those are gonna be NPCs, right? Oh, yeah. oh, normal guys? Are they normal? Oh, he's... I wonder how good that poison is. I did nothing with that kick. Let's see how good that poison is gonna be fucking him. Oh, nice. Yeah, the poison is pretty good. Like... You're just stalling and they're dying. That's the way to go in this game most of the time. You don't want to like just spam attacks and hope for the best. You want them to bleed out or... Yeah, it's pretty good. Having that passive... I just really hope we can actually both use the poison on the axe and like apply some elemental damage from my buffs. You definitely can. That would be so stupid if like your bleed would just go away because you're putting uh, on like a uh, different elemental stuff. You, you definitely have to stack it. Wait, so is there like a secret passage here or what is going on? 
We definitely have to go this way, that's for sure. You can't. Oh, you can. What the fuck? First time in this game you can actually use a ladder. Oh, that's a. Uh... Wait, is this where they like? Oh god. Let's use this. I have so many. Oh, they're getting fucked on. Those are the weak guys, though. Those are the weakest of possible guys. And right when I'm saying this, there's gonna be probably someone strong here. Can we open that? Nope. Oh, yeah, this one looks stronger. Oh god, what is this? I might have to use another one of the fire ones. Oh, this is the this guy. Oh, they got fucked on. Oh shit! Last time I fought them, they were pretty strong. Damn, son. That combo. The rage boon together with the fucking fire scroll and poison, all that. I don't think I can poison them, maybe the poison did nothing, but... I don't even know if we are like... Can break those boots down. I don't think there is anything we go for here. Like, there is loot here for sure. But is this actually the part of... Well, they wouldn't give me like a path in the main quest area where I can like never go back, right? But I'm gonna try out the, the other stuff first. Oh god, we are carrying too much. Yeah, that, that skill I have is pretty good. As long as you have Rage Boon, you can just keep jumping and knocking them down. Oh, maybe you can't even go here. Oh yeah, you can't. Okay, so we have to go there. You can also get like a different boon. I guess I should keep using my mana. There's no reason not to to get resistance and and stuff. Oh. Oh god, and one of those too. And we're gonna... Oh. Actually, I can jump down on this. Oh, he's actually using... I, good thing I used the boon. Because he's using the... I know he's using the spells. I have protection for now. Oh, this skill is so good. Oh, damn, son. Ooh. It's like the best part is it's not using the the boon. Attack on Berg. 
Your first priority is the destruction of the archives room under the blue chamber. If you cannot ensure complete destruction of the room, at least ensure that it will be inaccessible for as much time as possible. Likewise, Alda, the ambassador representing Old Levant, is to be killed on site. Use as much ammunition as you need. She must not survive this meeting. If possible, capture and question the Blue Chamber historian Balthazar Bertelot. If he shows any sign of supporting Old Lev Levant's position, kill him. Use the caves. Within the old burial grounds, there are plenty of animals that will make short work of any evidence if he needs to be disposed of. If the opportunity arises to kidnap a chamber lord, do so. Hold them for ransom and do not kill them unless it's absolutely necessary. The old cabin in the burnt woods to the south of the are equipped and prepared for such an event. So the old cabin in the burnt woods. I guess we have to write this down. Uh, about time to start writing shit down because... Uh, yeah. Burnt woods. All messages are go to go through Commander Mantis at his forest camp to the south of America. Jesus, forest camp. Stone steps. This hostage, this is uh, Commander. Fucked you up. Now I have to clean up the mess. No, oh, nice. He was just waiting. Oh shit, that's a mage. You fucking bitch. Oh god, there's more of them. Can you fucking hit him? Use the bandage. <laughs> that was that was just a script for them waiting. The moment I show up, they just start running towards me. Fucking eye switch. Oh my god, I have so many of the antidotes, Jesus. Use one of the life potions, I guess. How long does it gonna last? 30 seconds, that's not bad. I'm not gonna use the potion then. I see blood mushrooms. Okay, we can't search those. Use one of the pungent pastes. Yep. I hear them walking around there. Uh, if we jump down, ca no, that's us. Okay, we can normally just keep going this way. Oh, that's the place with all those guys. Armored dudes too. 
And my kick apparently just missed that that hit. They're missed too. Okay, I shouldn't go too too ham. Let him just like my kick did nothing again. Gonna get fucked. Tomb key, nice. Old Legion shield and saber. We can use the stamina potions from time to time, that's for sure. We can get rid of those. Guess put this in here. And this we can use for health. And stamina actually. Just drink it. Eat the jerky. So you heal. Use one bandage so you heal faster. I mean, I wish I could, like, maybe Saber. Shield is definitely too heavy. i use one of the healing potions again. I don't feel like waiting. There is more guys here. I think that's the shortcut, yeah. We can still go in that cave. There's at least one guy here. Where is it? Wait, what? Oh, they're on the other side, I guess. Oh god, are you serious? Yeah, there goes the fucking inventory space problem again. Iron Halbert, I'm gonna leave this for now. Okay, so there's people on the other side then. I just wasted my scroll. I like the the strategy to like just hit them, poison and shit, and just w stay back. We are finally not running out of uh, stamina. Before, like all I had to, all I could do was just swinging my my mace, and like I was having the extremely defensive gear that was just like wasting all my stamina too. So that was a really like bad way to play the game. Oh, we have a new fishing harpoon, can we even move now? We're kind of fucked. Oh, we can break st stuff down, that's for sure. Like this. It does, oh shit, definitely not worth. Can we even get something from that? No, we can't. I might just drop the iron scraps, I don't know. And drink more water, I guess. Jesus, we have so many things on me. Oh, great. I poisoned him. Just fuck him up. Make him trip. Oh, and die. <laughs> Even when I'm so overweight. Mantis, oh. This is good. Blue sand, I guess. Oh no, that's uh, palladium, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm always gonna remember that one time when I 
broke down boots worth 100 to get one palladium because I didn't know if that's gonna be a rare ingredient or not. And it's everywhere now. <laughs> and back then, 100 silver was like, oof. So much. <sighs> I, have, I hate having inventory issues in this game. We just have so many potions and shit like that. And right now I even have like a couple of the... Like dropping the saber won't even like do anything for me. I could drop that saber, but... I'm still gonna be overweight. We could drag some stuff here too. Let's see... Two. Okay, hex cleaners. I'm not even... Putting down traps, that's the worst part. Like, all the crafting materials weigh so much. And I just don't want to sell them all. Because, like, I don't know what's gonna be used for, like, some super good gear later on. That I'm gonna get, like, a recipe for. And it just, it doesn't even sell for a lot. Those rare ingredients don't sell for a lot. That's the issue. Are they gonna be close here? Where am I? Oh, we... But that's a different room? Oh, well, it is, okay. That's just a different room. Okay, so I'm gonna probably just drop my backpack for the fight. And that's it. So we keep this on me. And uh, just use like uh I need to start using potions like crazy. Uh, use one of those impact potions, I guess. Uh, I think everything that's good is in my... Yeah, it's all in my fucking pocket. Just increase your impact. Fuck it, and use the Rage Boon too. <laughs> no! Are you serious? Tomb Key? I got a diff- oh, it's in my backpack. Okay, okay. Thank fucking god. Oh, get shit on. Get shit on, kid. Oof. Oof, the damage. Wait, my axes are- Are you serious? That fast? Don't tell me it's like bugged and every single time I deal uh, 54, let's see. Every Would it be that every single time I do like poison damage to them, they are uh, taking my durability down? Well, they got fucked on and my weapon is just like completely ass right now. Brutal Great Maze, are you kidding me? I knew it that I'm gonna eventually find a different one. And I'm carrying that, that one I have uh, that's fucking... 9 kilos. This is another 9. I don't even know if I'm gonna have access to this place later on. I could just keep this one here. Sell the other one. And maybe go back here eventually. Yeah, because like if I take that I'm gonna be... Just like... Unable to move. I'm just gonna leave it inside. Hello? Go forward with respect and good intentions. I mean... I don't think those bandits have good intentions. And somehow they made it through. 
mining pickaxe, are you serious? Nerve gas. Oh my god, all those items on me right now. Yeah, about that. Oh shit, I got fucking AIDS from that hyena infection. That was the T, right? Yep. Okay, good. So I guess we go this way. We go up. Oh, I hear some monsters here. I think. Oh god damn it. Should I just like drop this for now? Let's see. It's almost the same speed. Oh. Oh, that's here. Okay. Yeah, that, like my sprint is just fucked when I'm carrying this mace around. How long does Rage Boon last? Oh, 30 more seconds. I'm just worried. Oh, okay, that's an exit. See, the thing is, like, we are using the door, right? And in this game, sometimes those things make no sense, and we might just end up being in the middle of nowhere. Let's see. Can we actually go back to this place easily after and grab that mace? Then I might sell the one I'm carrying, and we're gonna ha have actually, like, more inventory space in the future. Oh, we are here? I was here once before. Oh my god, that's the meal, right? That's here. No, that's... Wait, maybe that's this one. Oh, that one makes sense. Fort. Wait, is this fort? It could be fort. Wait. Please be the one close. That's southwest. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay, I was here before. Never mind. I was there. Oh, so we should be close to the city. Okay, this is not that bad. This is actually okay. And if that mace... Well, maybe I should have dropped it on the ground instead of keeping it uh, in the chest. Oh god, we actually have to like do something about the weight. That's only two more kilos. Nine. Put this on for now. Yeah, that's the other meal, okay. Yeah, we are next to the town. So that's the fort. Like, what is this? I guess nothing. Oh, spirits. Wait, southeast? Oh, that's the... Is this the... Oh no, that's the... Okay, so we are here. We should be close to the town. Is that the wall to the town? Is that really how close we are? I don't I don't want to fight the spirit. We're gonna have to use a... A potion to do it. Fuck. Yeah, this is... This is shitty. Oh god. Oh god, there's red ones here too. Oh, that's the same one, I think. That's the same guy, okay. Yay! Okay, so the town is here. Well, that's super close. Okay. The question is, can we go back through the other gate later on and just like loot? Because I'm gonna sell my mace now. I might sell my mace. 
I'm just worried this... This axe broke down so fast, like extremely fast, I don't know why. I think maybe because I was blocking their attacks? I just really hope it's not like... Every single time they take a tick damage from poison, my axe breaks down. That would be extremely stupid and... That would explain why after like one adventure... I can't even call it an adventure, that was just like... Following the main quest to the dungeon and getting out and I'm already in the town. Usually I'm like away for a long time, right? But I guess we can always sleep in the tent and repair it, but... I don't know. Maybe it's good to, to have a shield together with that axe. Maybe that's the... Uh, secret. Okay, so I need a vendor fast. We need to sell stuff first before we even go talk to the NPCs. Without a vendor I can't even fucking run. Please don't die. Okay, oh god, he might die here. Okay, good. That was kind of high. Oh, our test? Okay, I see the Russians la laying on the ground still. So I think leaving like items in towns is just safe. You can go back for them. Nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm gonna sell that mace. Like we can't... This is a good maze, and I'm gonna be sad if I don't get to use it again, but... Well, another one was in that dungeon, and I just can't carry 9 kilos in my backpack. Nice, this is 60, good, good stuff. I might even maybe go back to that dungeon, get all the stuff. I will... I guess we will see. So... I mean, I might even sell the blue sand helmet, but it's pretty good. Like, it's pretty good, but I feel like overall my helmet right now is very, very good. Just like superior to other stuff. Sell the mist potion, I guess. Mana. I just have to sp spam use the healing potions because I have so many and they wait so much. Yeah, I have 28. That's way too, ma too many. Way, way too many. Okay, we have even more of that. We can make some spiritual varnish because we got wine. That's nice. I think I'm gonna sell this. I have a lot of those in the house, I didn't take them with me, but... Mantis granite. Uh, I don't know if that's important for me. I might sell like four of those, maybe. Occult remains. To get some weight back. Sell four. I'm gonna keep four just in case. We might sell some of those too, like six, keep five. I'm gonna keep the rocks because they are actually... Uh, something you can sell for a high price and they wait only 0.1. 
Oh god, we get even more money now. Confirm. All the money. It's so stupid that the gold ingots can spoil, but we, we just have to keep getting them because the money waits so much too. I guess you can keep selling them and buying them back. Like, well, he also has so some of them that I sold before, so. We just have to be careful and look, keep looking at them. Make sure they are not going bad. Wait, what else can we get rid of? What's so heavy right now? I guess we got a lot of potions? Yeah. We got more potions, so there is that. Okay, we can... We can make like more healing potions, even more. Oh god. They sell that shit. Mm, we can keep the beetles. I guess we can keep the, the ingredients. I'm gonna make the spiritual varnish though from this, this and like mana stones I think. Or maybe the occult remains? Or maybe that was for the... Ocean. I think it was actually. Was it? Let's see. Hello, Vitam. Uh. uh. I guess so. I guess so. It all depends on the kind of person. If someone likes RPGs or not. If you can hear me. Oh, this one. Okay, so this is for the... Okay, this one. Oh, we, we don't have any more. That's a yikes. Point five. Wait, each? I think I think that's point five each. Ah, oh, fuck it. Before it spoils. Oh, this needs the remains. Okay. That's a good potion though, like a really good potion. Okay, maybe I shouldn't sell the occultist remains, fuck. I messed up. Can I get them back for the same price? Yeah, this is only co-op and single player. Also split screen. Oh god, there are 60 now, okay. Yeah, he's not gonna give them back for 18. Oh, never mind them. Too bad. Lost opportunity. I'm gonna keep two for crafting. Wait, how is my... Oh, do I have like... Oh, I have money here and here, what the fuck. Mm. 
Okay, that should be good to carry in, in this one. Yeah, I really don't know <laughs> what we can do about the weight in our inventory now. That's a big problem, to be honest. Oh, you can never put the dagger away? Oh, that's kind of weird. You always run with your dagger. <sighs> we can't buy anything good from them anymore. Yeah, they don't have anything interesting. Do I sell my... Blue Sand Helmet? Yeah, I feel like... It's just like superior to the Blue Sand. Worst case scenario, we craft another one. It's expensive, but... Like, Blue Sand is just have so many penalties. And like, the... Resistant and Impact are almost the same. Only one more protection and like, the Fire and... Cold spells. Yeah, but stamina cost like minus 10. This helmet, elite hood is so good. Like, so good. I think I'm gonna sell this. Yeah, too bad, but we're gonna sell this. Blue Sand Helmet goes to sell. Boom. It's about time we say goodbye to this helmet. Okay. There it goes. And we get a, another gold bar. <laughs> 1200. The money is just too tempting. And finally we are not overweight. <laughs> For like another 5 minutes. Then we go back to the same state. Mm, okay. I might sleep. Oh, let's go for the NPCs. Let's talk. Maybe I'm gonna grab the items that I left in the chamber and then we sleep and just go like on my own adventure. Oh, we have the two places we want to check out from the from the note. I think we have to follow the note actually. Maybe we don't even talk to those guys. Let's see. We can see. Oh yeah, we can talk. The corridor leading the, to the necropolis has been blown to pieces. They blasted a tunnel under Berg to get in. Damn it, like I expected, professionals, the evidence points to Levant right now. The attack damaged our historical archives and killed the ambassador from old Levant. On top of taking hostages, Levant benefits most from all this. Alright, Elder, we've, we've got more to do. Uh, follow them through the tunnel and turn Enmark upside down until you bring Risa home safely. If you can track down whoever led this attack, make, sh make them pay. Well, I did it already and we now have to go to Old Cabin in Burnt Woods. There is a hostage there and there is a commander uh, forest camp south of uh, Enmarkar forest near Stone steps Risa told me you can handle yourself in the wild I feel comfortable enough leaving her safe, uh, safety in your hands while I work on finding our who ordered this attack I wish you luck Aldar and I hope you don't need it okay so I'm gonna do this now well we're gonna sell the items and shit but we're gonna do this now because uh, if you wait long enough without helping your first city uh, they have a problem with bandits. If you don't help them, your first city actually get burned. So I would expect them to like kill the hostage too if you if you don't help uh, quick enough. So yeah, I'm just gonna go for that hostage situation before 
shit go goes down because it might be like a, a scripted event that you get like a couple days and if you don't do it they die so we should probably just hurry up and go for it I gave. I don't understand it sometimes. I did it three times and it gave me four full flasks or water skins. I like the setup though. Like I, I've been stuck with that mace because it had such a good like uh, wide swing and uh, the what it's called posture damage. But like in a long run, I was getting so fucked with the stamina. I think like just balancing between heavy armor and light armor and just like what I'm doing right now, applying poison, applying bleeding and just like backing up a bit and they just die. That's a way safer way to play this game. Unless someone's like fully resistant to both poison and... Oh shit, this shield is 60. Both poison and... Uh, bleeding, then I'm kind of fucked. <laughs> but I, they are uh, usually uh, avoiding one or the another, not both. Claymore, axe. I didn't know the shield is 60. I think I got scammed in the last location. I paid some shit. Sh I got some shitty money for this. Oh god, we don't want to do get that. That one is pretty in pretty shitty condition. Do I know how to make palladium spikes? Thorny. I kind of want to get as many of those recipes as possible. I might go to other NPCs and see the the recipes they have right now. We have to fix my gear too, for sure. Okay, first go to the NPCs, then fix gear and sleep. I'm gonna gr grab a drink real fast and we're gonna keep going. I don't feel like going down to that dungeon again and grabbing like the hammer or the mace I dropped. Uh, was it a far? Oh, I guess I unlocked the shortcut. We can we can kind of do it because the shortcut is unlocked, I think. Okay, recipes. Do you have anything interesting? Potions, charges, endurance potion, firestone. I think I know those. Yeah, that's not nothing like interesting. Okay, we have 13, 1300 right now. Damn it, those things are so heavy. And I have no idea like what kind of weapon or something you craft with that. We have a lot of money frozen in this too. I'm just not selling those because they are so light and they're worth a lot. Oh, we can buy the alpha recipes. Alpha jerk, alpha sandwich. Alpha jerk is probably salt with salt with uh, alpha meat, right? I would assume that's the recipe. Alpha sandwich would be alpha meat with bread, probably. I want to buy something. It's a nice one, like. Fast healing and huge bonus to stamina, but 
to 86 and it's easily visible that's a downside i feel like the camouflage is like really good it gives you stealth too somehow i think my backpack is the best in the game we're never gonna find anything better okay we good mm. okay just speed run to that chamber uh, do i even go there oh fuck it i don't feel like it 60 silver pfft. i have so much money i don't know what to do with it right now so yeah i'm not gonna waste time just running back to that dungeon fuck it if that may stays there maybe one day we can go back for it Uh, where is it? Okay. Oh, we have to like three should be enough. Repairing though. And go until the morning. Wait, do I have all my important stuff on me? I think so. All my fighting gear and shit. Boom. Okay, one second. I'm gonna grab a drink. Okay, sorry I'm back. <sighs> Drink. Are we good? 
Uh, food. You can hear me? Okay. Yeah, like, I mean, it's a good game with a lot of content, but it just, it really depends uh, on the kind of person that plays it. If you like, like, open world RPG that's, like, really hard and doesn't hold your hand. Because it's definitely a hard game and, like, there is a lot of... Uh, negative comments on Steam about this game only because people played for like 30 minutes and they were just dying over and over to one like bandit and they couldn't do anything about it so it's definitely not for everyone because like those kind of games if you like if you are impatient and you just try to br brute force one enemy you might never like win that fight ever and just refund the game and if you like cheese it and use traps, run around, just poison it, bleed, stuff like that, every single enemy in game might be like super easy, even if it's a boss or something. It all depends on the playstyle and how you prepare for every single fight. Like some enemies are super strong, even that I'm like very good gear geared right now and. If I like start using potions, like spells and stuff on myself, then I almost one shot them. They have like no chance with me. I'm I'm carrying 40 traps with me right now, so if I see like a boss, like a very big enemy, I'm just gonna set traps all over the place and make him run into it. And that's how I'm gonna win the fight. Okay, use that and we can go. Thirsty or hungry, you can see it at the bottom left. And like you go to stats also, and that's like a bigger explanation if you how 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 much of a percentage you have left. All your stuff here. There's also like a uh, cold and uh, heat. I I wasn't there yet, but I know that there is like a desert. So eventually I'm gonna have to get like a good gear for for heat and a lot of uh, water skins. So far I've been only in like very, I guess friendly areas you could call them because the weather doesn't kill you unless it's winter time in the first area. The winter was very like, very very tough for me. Okay, I think we can go. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna use items on our way. I don't want to sell those crafting materials. Okay. Should be good. The question is, do I buy the last skill? Like, extreme bleeding and pain seem good, but... Consuming Rage Boon is like, meh. This is really good because you can spam it. Well, not not spam because it's 40 seconds, but you can keep using it in the duration of the boon. And this one just uses it completely. But I guess if we are committed to this tree, maybe I should maybe I should bind it. Maybe I actually should. Get it and 6 hundo. We have a lot of money that I'm not gonna spend for a while, that's for sure. Mm, ah, fuck it, let's just buy it. Because I'm gonna probably regret that later. If I don't buy it. And I want it. So 600. Yep. Gimme, gimme. Oh, I got an achievement. I guess worth it. And get rid of the bow skill. And get this. And I guess if we fight someone strong, 
I don't know. I wish there was a timer in the bottom left corner or something on the boon you have. I have no idea how long the boons last. Uh, let's see. Five. Get a random one. 240 seconds. So that's four minutes. Yeah, four minutes. Okay. Yeah, so see, that's why I don't think this skill is that good. Because you have four minutes of... Uh, with the Rage Boon, for me, that's 20% uh, more impact damage. So, like, flat physical damage I do with my weapons. So why would I waste 4 minutes of insane good buff, bu buff on my weapon, instead of, like, I would use one skill and just waste the buff. You're, you, like, I understand using it at the end of the, of the ban, but I don't even know where it ends, so... We have no timer on the screen. My weight, well, yeah, it's a problem. I have the big, probably, I don't know this because I don't really know like all the items in this game. But I have probably one of the, or even the biggest backpack in the game. And like, my weight is just terrible. And that's because like, you get like a storage, uh, you get like a storage in your first town where you can store items. And back then I was I was like perfect all the time, but the more you travel to different areas, you would have to go all the way back to the first area, to the first town, and store your items. So I took every, everything that was like worth a lot, all my good crafting materials, and they weighed like basically 110, everything I have on me. So I just keep being, being overweight all the time, over encumbered. Okay, so we got we got tips from that uh, letter from that uh, letter that like the kidnappers left. So one was the uh, old cabin burnt woods. There is a hostage there. We should go there first, probably. It's a burning tree, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they are talking about the other area. But I guess we go here first, maybe. And the other one is... Forest camp south of... Anmar. So south... Stone steps. Oh, I, I know the stone steps are here. Oh, so both maybe are here somewhere. Huh. Okay, so we should probably go here. Just south. I think they are gonna be in the same area. I don't think we have to go to marshlands. Wait, did I go? Oh no, I was here before, okay. Oh shit, those dead guys are still here. They never s respawned? Really? That's insane. Before they spawned like multiple times, and they're gone for good. Huh. Maybe it takes longer? Uh, yeah, see? Those boots, I would wear them all the time when we are traveling. 15% movement speed, but my boots are 14 kilos. <laughs> so yeah. I don't think that's a good trade. Being over encumbered. Even to wear those boots that give you like extra movement speed. I have to remember to use my rage boon as often as possible. We are fighting stuff. So we are going through this island. Or no, we are on the side. Yeah, we are here. So I might just follow the road, and the steps are somewhere here, and the burning tree is probably the, the burnt woods they, they talked about. I like that new axe though, it's pretty decent for a one hand. 
like the the poison does the trick because it doesn't matter the damage is like smaller than other weapons if you keep poisoning them if someone's not like immune to poison they're just like you you can just start blocking and back up and they are dying It's gonna be kinda shitty against like enemies with uh, strong poison resistance, but I have a dagger that can bleed people too, so... <laughs> See, like, my problem right now is that I already spent like two skill points or whatever you call them to unlock some trees with skills and I don't think you can refund that there is only three in the game you can use so I have the last one and I know there is like a someone was talking about it on like a, another stream I was watching there is like a monk fighting style with like melee and stuff so that might be cool and I also kind of want uh, the rogue tree with like, you know, stealth and backstabs and all that stuff together. Because like my backstab skill and my, my dagger are very strong. Everything, uh, like uh, the only thing I would need right now is like a skill that would let me get a consistent backstab. So I could like, you know, uh, make them trip or stun them, something like that. And I, I know there is stuff like that in the game and that would be probably the, the assassin tree from those guys so we have like two cool options we might go for and I have only one point left to spend so there is that okay so we have some elemental dudes here so I know the terrorists were here like around old cabin burnt woods also. Oh, that is definitely burnt. Oh, no, that's a bandit camp. That's definitely the, the burnt woods. It's called the, the, like the burning tree because they are talking about the middle one, but everything else in here is burnt woods for sure. We just need to find the cabin first. Because I want to, oh, th those are the, oh, Jesus, that mouse lag and those are the steps so next to the steps also south stone steps forest camp wait are they talking about bandit camp maybe i think i never looted this Hello. Okay. Good. I stopped using, like, I completely stopped using the pistol. Oh, nice. Extra 60 silver. It might be the bandit camp, maybe? Yeah, I was here before, there was no like... There's no any camps or anything like here. <laughs> the awkward silence without music. I guess we go for the bandit camp. Too bad I have no like... Inventory space. They're gonna drop a lot of weapons again. Like always. I mean, like, what else could there be? Is this guy new? They look kinda new. They don't really look like those guys. I could fight them. I have the spiritual varnish and shit. Why not? 
we have the we have to use those potions anyway. Resistances. This. This. And before I get one shotted. But I think I should easily fuck him up. Ooh. Yeah, good thing I have that resistance, right? Oh, okay, I fucked on though. Obsidian shard. Oh shit, worth it. I think. He's a bandage first. Damn, he fucked me up. And now I'm weak to fire too. <laughs> I think you just have to dodge that first shit and... Then you're good. Yeah, th that running attack never works out well, because you are just like, you are stunned after the after the running attack. It's better to just like slowly run up to the enemy and start attacking them. It's never good to just like run up and do the heavy attack. Bag overweight. Oh, the bug pump, okay. Is there more? Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. When I'm having like all those buffs on me. We have to use all the potions anyway, like I'm I'm so bad right now when it comes to space in my inventory. That, that entrance with the skill, like, that's the best skill I have right now. The free skill may be strong, but removing the Rage Boon is shitty. And like the jump in, I didn't like fight an enemy yet that would not get like completely fucked on by the jump. They always lose the entire posture and, and trip. Can you imagine like jumping towards them? And then using the other skill I have for axes, like two-handed axes or something, where you do like triple or something damage to the enemies on the ground. That would be a crazy combo. You just jump towards them, they trip, and you just like execute them because the it's called execution. Uh, also, why did I not drink water? I think that's also like a fire resistance or something, right? Extra one. Oh, shit. You're getting more and more of those. Mm. Yeah, I, I like my setup right now. I'm not really using the... I'm not really using the, the dagger right now. To be honest, maybe I should switch to pistol. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. Well, it didn't really break that hard right now, but I wonder why last time my my axe broke down like immediately. Yeah, once it once it's badly damaged, then then it's like completely. Shitty with low damage. Oh, those guys are still here? Really? Is this the last one in here? I don't know if I'm gonna do damage without this. I'm not sure. I could drink this. Okay, we are still doing good damage. They are not like the other spirits. They are, they are different enemies. I guess maybe they don't count like as a spirit or something. They are just burning men, I don't know. Huh. Oh, what is this though? Oh, you look fucking scary.
Oh shit, the petrified wood. Oh shit, did I... Did all the other trees... Wait, you, I got that with my mining pick? Really? Huh. Yo, the petrified wood. You need this for like... What was it? A quest or... No, he, he, oh yeah, he crafts an armor out of it. Plagenic weapon. Oh, obsidian shard is for maces. Interesting. Okay, this guy looks like a boss kind of thing, I guess. Okay, my rage. Oh shit, he looks tough. Definitely not fire against this guy. Ice rag. I use this one. Immunity to four to yeah 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 because he's gonna probably use fire. This is the right time to use the immunity for sure. Shit, he's flying. Oh, get fucked on. Oh. Yeah, I was kind of scared, not gonna lie, so... I used one of the best potions I have. Yeah, like this jump in and fucking break in their posture. I can only imagine what I would be doing to them with a weapon that has way more impact. Or not impact the damage, just... In general, because right now I'm not even like... Getting a lot from... From that... Poison on my axe. I like how strong we got it though. Okay, so those are those are the guys I think we came for. Get destroyed. Yes, that's the that's the lady from the town. Okay, saber is worth sixty. Wait, another one? You had a saber too. Jackpot. There you go. Yo, one sec. I'm gonna let you out. After I plunder this place. <laughs> Fire stones, nice. Oh god, the greed. <laughs> I can't move. Someone help me. Oh, that's just like... Oh, petrified wood, I think. This looks different between those wood logs. Yes. Only one, ash. Oh. Aww. They made it look like there was like two. Okay, this looks like wood and just flint and bullshit. Oh. Use one pungent paste, I guess. We have to use it anyway. Boom. Hello. Okay. Balthazar, okay, so... Oh, I found his body, they could never shot him and left him to for the animals, yeah. We found him. I will make my way back to Berk, we have much to prepare for the coming fl conflict. Are you sure? I'm not... Uh... Okay, good. And who are you? You have a badass armor, you, you look like a pimp. Thank you, this damn criminal scum kidnapped me straight from the blue chamber and hold me here in a sack. Here, I have a reward for you for this. I've got 100 silver on me and by my queen, you deserve every last one of them. Now you'll... Excuse me, I need to go back Burke and try to serve this mess. Uh, I was hoping for like a, you know, really good piece of equipment rather than 100 silver. I have so much money. But thank you, I guess. Jesus Christ, we are... We are a loot goblin once again. Uh, 
Oh god, all those good materials. Look at this, this weight 6 now. All those materials, that's, that's the worst. Even like, imagine if I sold all the potions, I would barely be out of the uh, encumbered state. Like, all my crafting materials are so heavy. It's, it's absolutely insane how fucking heavy that shit is. Yeah, and I don't even know like if we can sell some stuff, if we should keep some stuff. I have no idea what's like good for keeping what's not. Oh my god, we're so heavy right now. I think like if we get rid of three, drop those arrows. Two. Oh, we can just empty that, right? Can I? Yeah, empty. Are we gonna like? Kinda be better right right now. Oh yeah, that's like not extremely bad. Okay, leave. I'm surprised that horse guy wasn't stronger, but you know, this game is just. Oh, I was about to say I thought he, that was just a rag though. I thought he like revived. In this game, like, every single enemy can be super easy or super hard. I bet if, like, he started doing some weird flying shit, so... If I didn't have the resistance and I didn't just, like, immediately put him down, he would probably, like, two-shot me or something. He was definitely doing something weird. It looked like he, w he wanted to fly away. Also, now we know that those enemies don't require you to use uh, what it's called, the spiritual varnish or whatever. Wait, so was that both? Because I had this message from the... So we rescued the, the hostage, old cabin, burnt woods. Okay, so this checks out and there was... No, there was no commander inside. Okay. So, forest camp south of stone steps and marker. South of an marker. Near stone steps. And the stone steps are like there. So, he should be around. Forest camp. So... Okay, that was the bandit camp on the map. So there should be like an un unmarked forest camp, something? There's no way, like... Two of those informations were for one thing, right? Oh, also we... We have to make sure there's no like petrified wood here. I don't know how how it looked. Tree. Oh. How did it look? I need to check out those. That seems like a good material, so I just need to make sure. Petrified wood, nice. Okay, so the small like trunks. Here, I guess? This one? Kinda looks like it. Yep. Okay. Oh god, I'm... Um, again. Fucked and wait. That's point nine. We are probably getting hungry. Pfft, no. We just need sleep, okay. Two 
6.9. Okay, craft some of those. this in here I have to sell some of those antidotes that's way too many two and a half We still get, need to get rid of some weight. Fuck the bread. What else? Jesus Christ. So we need to look around those stone steps for that general before we go back to the town. Because I want to kill him. And like this game, it can last for so many hours if you are playing like me, just like exploring the world, not just rushing through the area, going to the another area and then complaining that there is no content. I've been playing for so long and I'm just like in the second location, barely scratched it and there's still two more. Ho wait, open hollow trunk? What the... Manticore dagger? Wait, what? Leave the alchemy kit inside. Don't tell me there's gonna be like some MLG da dagger. Jackpot? Hello? What is this? Oh shit, that's way better than mine. Oh, it, extreme poison, shit. I'm gonna be full poison built though. That's not, there's not gonna be any bleed. Damn though, look at the damage, the poison impact to impact. Wow, 44 impact on a dagger. That's more than my mace. Well, no, actually that's like a little less. But a little less than a two-handed mace. That was extremely good. Wow, and that recipe just in a fucking trunk. <laughs> How the fuck do we get this though? Manticore. What is Manticore? Oh, oh spike food. Oh, I think I know what it is. It could be that monster I marked on the map here. It had like a scorpion uh, fang something at the, on the tail. Like a spike. It could be that if I had to guess. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Damn, that just something like this in a trunk. Uh, break down this. Yeah, this game has so many of those like hidden things people will just like never find. And it's extremely good. Oh, is that the camp? Wait, oh shit. No, the stone steps are not even... Are they here? I think I see more of the petrified wood there too. That could be the camp. I was here once before and it was empty. And there is a chest in there and I was like, why the hell would you like leave a, a camp with a chest inside? 
if you can't even leave stuff inside. Like I, I thought that you could grab it as a, your your own house or something like that. And I bet there's gonna be the fucking bandit leader in here now. Oh god, but it's gonna be. Oof, we're gonna have to fight him inside of this. Like. I don't want to apply buffs without knowing that it's actually the thing. At least use the jerky. Oh, let's see. Hopefully he's not gonna attack me immediately if he's there. Should be okay, but... Oh, okay. Good thing I didn't wait stuff. Okay, so this place always just like... leaves stuff behind. Yeah, there's always stuff here. I even used the bed here before because I thought like something's gonna happen. But never, like, there was not an NPC that would wake me up or something. That's just like a random ass tent in the forest. Damn it, I thought that was the thing. That the guy's gonna be here. But I didn't use my stuff so good. Drop the meat on the ground. Boom. I put it on the ground. The alpha meat grants you a rage boon. It's actually really good. Heals a bit. Oh, just use it. So we keep getting the healing. Oh shit. See, like, there's so many... Stealth up. Stealth increased by 25%. Th this food gave me this, and it didn't even, like, say it's gonna give me that. There's so many things they forgot to add on the food descriptions and potions. Because there, it would make it makes no sense that we would like hide it on purpose. If there is things that you just like They tell you half of the stuff on the food description and the other half is just missing. Sometimes it's just something stupid like the item heals you and that's it. Like all the like the cooked meat doesn't tell you that, that it's gonna heal you, but it does. And there's like a couple other things that do the same thing. Okay, so where are the stairs? They are there, I think. And that well, that camp would check out, but apparently it's not it. Twenty-five percent stuff. That's actually really good. Like cooking this meal over and over and just using it for like a rogue build. I bet with 25% it's really easy to sneak up behind enemies. Okay, that camp has to be somewhere here apparently, but... Maybe I should just drop the fishing cook and say fuck it. I think there was like one in the town or something. Or, or maybe I dropped mine that was broken. Fuck it. Just drop the fishing carpoon. So like, we are south. 100% we are south. And near stone steps. We are here. And like... That should be a camp. And like... This is called a bandit camp. But we killed... Normal guys in there. 
and like that was the part that described the uh, hostages and we uh, rescued the hostages we did the uh, we did the uh, part of that and now there should be like a camp next to the stone steps i have no idea what it is Absolutely no idea. Hmm. I'm gonna go later kill that uh, half fly on half like uh, scorpion thing and see if that's the piece we need for the dagger but i'm kind of scared we're gonna eventually fight stuff that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be like uh have de defense ag against poison and if we are stuck with a dagger and a axe that both use poison we are fucked because right now my dagger uses uh uh, bleeding. Maybe I can go again to those. Kills right here. Like where could, could he be? There's no way they are talking about the same camp. Like there were there were two parts of the there were two parts of the uh, letter left near the guy's body, and you know the one in the burned forest and shit talked about. Oh, well, maybe I'm just thinking about a different place, but that's south, and like the. Be ruined settlement? That would be like uh, east. Wait, east? That's west? Oh no, so we are here. Because we are in next to the road. Wait, so like the road ends here. That's on the east side. Oh, maybe that's behind the hill? But it wouldn't be next to the steps then. What the fuck do you mean? Yeah, the 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 coastal hives are there. Ruins is this it? Ruin settlement? This could be it. Like the, the just the bricks and shit. Stones. No, but they don't they don't mark those things on the map. Maybe they do. Yeah, the hives are here. Where the fuck would that guy be? Oh my god, it's getting dark too. I don't think they would spawn uh like a camp for an NPC for the quest like everything that's in the world stays in the world there are the the stone steps here we are south forest camp south of a marker forest near stone steps And the guy's nowhere to be found. I think we have to sleep here though. Because like I'm not leaving yet. I want to find this guy but at the same time we like we can't see shit. So. It's gonna be way better if we just sleep. We have some water left so. Yes. 
sleep for like one hour. No, no ambush at all. Interesting. Zero percent ambush. The music, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you are very tired after sleeping. Oops. Never mind. I love how you like choose how many hours you want to sleep, and they are telling you, oh, watch out, after sleeping for so many hours, you're gonna be tired. <laughs> like what? Wait, it, it can break? Oh. Interesting. It can actually break. There's no way it would be so far away if it's near. It has to be like somewhere here. It's some commander guy too, so like... Those two dudes protecting... Or like... Imprisoning those, those NPCs... Wouldn't... Be the commander. Where the fuck is it? Like, I'm seriously... And like, why wouldn't he be in there with them, though? That's the end marker for us. Yes, south of it. So definitely this part here. Oh, may there are stone steps here, though. Maybe I'm just like thinking about those stone. But why would they not give you like a location command? There's no steps here. Settlements. Oh, maybe it's here then. Bandit camp. Because that kind of makes no sense. Like, they give you a location of one thing, it's here. And of other thing, it would be here too. So maybe just we have to go here. To the Cabo of the Wind Temple. That's gonna be west. I guess that's the only thing we can do right now. It's south too, so that would check out. So maybe, maybe there is a slight chance that's it. Because I've been just running in circles for way too long, doing nothing. I'm getting bored here. We can get more petrified wood. And even, oh, actually, we are good. So close. I'm not, uh, I'm gonna drink. Because we are about to get thirsty. And we want more stamina region. Oh, all those things after night respawned. Are you serious? I don't want this iron fucking bullshit. God, this lag. <laughs> I kind of want to like become a rogue. I'm kind of digging like one hand and dagger combo. And now that we found this recipe for this extremely good dagger, I'm tempted to like learn about the rogue stuff. I'm just not sure, like, if they are from other families. If I'm not fucked, if I want to, like... No, it shouldn't be a thing, though. Oh god, what is this in there? Oh, that's a new enemy, I think. Are those... Deers? Or, like, a fire fucking bullshit? 
Oh, what is this? That's a bandit too. Are you? Wait. Is this a normal bandit or... Who the fuck are you? Wait, he's a solo. I don't think he's a normal bandit. Or maybe he is. He has a halberd. But like his hand is red. Oh, he has a claymore sword. Oh, and those? Yeah, this is like a two-headed bullshit. I don't think that's a... Oh, he's the commander, I think. I need to start doing this more often. Taking off my backpack. I, I just kicked him and he didn't bother at all. I think that's him. Gotta get fucked. Mixed legacy is nice. I think we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Wow, nice fucking tip next to the stone stairs. Good job, game. Oh, he's next to the stone stairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, those are the, the... I know who that is. Oh, broke. Oh shit, my pickaxe broke. Oh, you can actually still equip it and repair it. That's cool. Yeah, about those fucking stairs, right? Stringy salad. Oh, this one! Oh shit, so we can actually make the stuff that gives you... What is called? Like, 25% stealth. Am I gonna be super... Oh, Jesus. What, a, what have I done? You're fucked. Shrinky salad. Uh, we're gonna have to check out how you make it in town, I guess. We like can't see. Yeah, it kind of sucks. They should give you like a menu here, showing you all the recipes you learned. That's that's a little like over the top to make you remember stuff you can cook in town and shit. Or like in a pot. And you can't like see the recipes here. But you already learned. So we want that tail. Yeah, this has to definitely be that mob I, I've seen before. It's free. And like, um... I'm close to here. We could go for it, since we are already here, but... Oh, yikes. We are so... We are so fucked. I might drop the pickaxe. And just, like, hope we're gonna find another one. It's a risky move, but... Should I do it? Oh god, we have this. Uh. <sighs> How bad is it? It's really bad. So pickaxe is five. Drop the pickaxe. Iron scrap. Jesus, we have so many spike traps. All that shit. <laughs> I have so many useful items that I just can't get rid of right now. And it's not like even. 
That one is super heavy, they're all heavy. They're literally all heavy. I'm so fucked. I don't get it, like, maybe they just want you to be, like, fucked all the time, but... I feel like there should be more places in the game where you can store items than this, just the first town. Maybe I'm just like not seeing it. I could drop some of those, like. It all takes uh, scraps, so. Yeah, this just literally takes iron scraps. We could definitely get rid of some spikes. Because potions are definitely more important. Okay, fuck the smoke route. I never even used those. One. We have to drop some spikes. Ten. One more. Okay, that should be enough to at least, like, yeah, at least do the jog. What kind of tent is this? Simple tent, and that's bullshit, right? Camouflage, simple, small bonus. It didn't even give you like a fucking good te uh, tent from the fucking guy. So if we keep going west, we're here. Uh, oh yeah, that's the, like the end. So we should just go north. Yeah, I'm gonna go back for that uh, monster and his tail. Mm. Like, we don't have water. I mean... We have to go northwest anyway. Well, kinda, because... Well, you can't go up here. I see the, the wind shit right there on my... Yeah, so we get close to the wind shit and go up. So I guess we can go this way. But those guys are here, I don't really want to fight them. I mean... I'm not like super scared, but... I don't feel like wasting shit on them and time. Maybe we can just go around. Oh yeah, there's a shit ton of them around the mill. Oh yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Can you imagine if I still had that mace on me? Trying to collect stuff with like nine less inventory space. Okay, this is pretty good. When I fix that. I've been jumping around, like I keep staying in the melee build, but I, I've been jumping around a lot of, with the weapon types, but it's normal in this game, I guess. You just keep getting so many of those different melee weapons. It's not like you are locked on to like one weapon type. I could use a pun pungent paste here. Do we have like the mushroom bullshit? Already used that, so we might use a um, punch and paste. It's a, it's like spoiling fast too, and I could get more, so I don't really care. Okay, so this is the the wind cabal, whatever bullshit. There is like one of the immaculates or whatever they're called that I. Don't know if I want to fight really. Like I don't see a reason yet. 
I could, but I'd rather go for the guy that I think has an uh, ingredient I need before we kill this one. And like, I'm kind of confused because this guy's an enemy here, but he's one of the dudes, uh, the same race like the dude from the caves that keeps helping me and he's nice. So I'm just scared that like, you know, I'm gonna fight this one and then the other guy like hates me. And I don't want that, he's nice. But at the same time, like if you want to do, uh, explore this place, you have to kill this guy because he's a he's a monster. He's not he's not friendly or anything. You can't, you can't talk to him. I wanted to play some Enter the Gungeon today, but. This game is so addicting, like, sometimes even when you don't feel like playing it, you're like, oh, I'm, I don't have, a, like, a d good day for an RPG. When you start, just the time flies. It's the end of the day, suddenly. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not even taking the spikes. Are we still good? I guess we're, like, kinda good still. Uh, are we though? I think we are getting close. Nice. He's gonna be somewhere here. I'm gonna use a lot of potions for this guy, so we're gonna have more more space. Because he looks tough as fuck. Oh yeah, you can see him there. That's his tail only, I think. And there is like an NPC in there. Like I wonder if this is an enemy too, or do you talk to this guy? He stands still. He looks like an NPC because uh, enemies keeps moving. Enemies keep moving, and NPCs always stand still if you can talk to them. So I might before we fight, I might go to this guy and see. Maybe he's gonna like tell us something or help us killing this monster. Yeah, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> he looks tough. I'm gonna use every kind of potion I can before fighting him. Oh, actually there's a bandit in there. Oh. Oh no, this guy keeps moving too. I guess I was too far away. But he, lo he looks tough too. I might check out this guy first. Yeah, he looks like a, some kind of boss human. Oh, someone... Is this... Oh, this is probably like a... Oh god, is this a mage? Are you a mage, sir? You are not mage. Yeah, this guy definitely is some kind of a um, boss or whatever. This one in there. He looks like he has a regular halberd, but... Maybe I should go for the strong one first. Yeah, this motherfucker looks intimidating as fuck. Jerky. Bandage. Well, I might use actually like a alpha meat or something to get a rage boon. Fuck, but I'm gonna get even more gear from them. That I have to carry. <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, this guy looks tough. What the fuck? Oh, he has like a huge backpack on his back. On his back. Cooked alpha meat. That's gonna give me a rage boom, right? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna use a uh, fire. 
with this one. I don't know if he's a mage or not. I think that's all we have to use now. Oh god. Oh god, he's like a giant! Ooh. What the fuck are you doing to me? Okay. Don't one shot me. Okay, he has a poison on him. Are you still poisoned, sir? He's doing some weird mojo shit. Get fucked. Oh, we can't even pick up his weapon. Wow, he was a fucking giant. Giant heart, yeah. Endurance potion. For stamina. Oh. oh, there is some fucking spooky shit going on in here. Now this one, though. Oof. Yeah, the the giant. If I didn't use my stuff. He would probably be like fucking me up right now. Or he would be already done with me, actually. Okay, use a potion from here. Heal. Oh shit, we have this in here too. Okay, this is good. Of small stamina potions on me. Kinda scared <laughs> fighting this guy. How long do we have the rage? 110, we have to go. Use the elemental bullshit, use it fast. Weapons impact, just use this. Use this. Use this. I don't know if fire is gonna be good for him. Oh, I'm poisoned? Wait. I think I'm poisoned. Fuck it. Oh god! <laughs> I'm gonna die. I know it already. Oh shit. Oh yeah, that's not gonna be an easy fight. Oh shit, my stamina, my stamina though. I need to heal. Che cheese him behind this, please. Don't die. My stamina. Oh god, he can run around this. Oh god. I wanted stamina. Oh god, he didn't attack. Oh fuck. Oh, he jumped over that shit. Oh, get fucked. Apex Predator achievement. Oof, Jesus, that was, that was tough. He was like avoiding. Star Child. Child Claymore, he didn't. Oh, he, he did give me Monty Cortel. I knew it. I knew it. Oh god, we have all this stuff. Am I gonna be even able to move with this? Predator bones, those are there. Oh shit, I can't even move now. Oh shit. I'm gonna have to drop this stuff for a second here. That's a sword. Oh sh look at the impact. Low damage, but like high electricity damage. The Dawn Weaver's knowledge show showed us the way. He came from the stars and to the stars we shall follow. Dame. Dame, dame, dame. Look at this sword. It's probably sick looking too. Mm, we might see if I'm gonna be using that 
Fuck though, I'm... Okay, take this. Wolf room. What the fuck? Okay, I'm kind of scared of dropping items here. Because what if we can't pick them up? Uh, maybe I should drop potions, just to be sure. Drop meat. We can't move. Drop predator bones. I'm gonna drop potions first. I don't want to lose like super good items. No way. Can we move now? Oh, we can. Shit, my backpack is far away. <laughs> we still have a poison on us, right? From the first guy. DK damage and resistance. Oh, plus! Possessed. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, we got possessed and discipline from the potion I used. Damn, that was... Two pretty cool enemies next to each other. The giant... The giant was definitely tougher than the regular guys, but this guy was, like, next level. I'm glad I played it safe and, like... Got him. Damn, that was not... Whew. And I guessed it right, too, that, you know... You need that... You need to kill that guy that I saw earlier for this Manticore tail. Oh, we can Im immediately craft the... Can we? Oh yeah. We do. Free. Boom. Wow, I wonder if there's more of them then. I want... Yeah, I hope I didn't like waste my... My shit. I think that might be like one of the toughest monsters around. If I got like a Apex Predator or something achievement. Damn though, look at this. Ooh, fucking badass dagger. That might be like one of the best daggers in the game, maybe. And definitely like the best option I have for now. Okay. That was fucking cool. We got like 200 sword and a badass dagger. Both in like very... short period of time. Damn, look at this sword. <laughs> Holy shit. This is fucking sick as fuck. So that's like a permanent electricity damage. The only, the only moment when you shouldn't be using it, and like the impact is crazy, and its attack speed is 1.1? You have to be kidding me. The sword is amazing. Like the only downside is that it has 13 uh, uh, physical damage, 38 uh, electricity. Or lightning, I mean. So if like the enemy is has protection against lightning, then you are fucked. You're gonna still do damage and like a shit ton of impact damage, but yeah, most of your damage comes from lightning. Damn. Like, I was happy I'm gonna get the dagger and now I'm confused if I want to like use the sword probably. Damn, son. Yeah, that was so worth it. So worth it. Oh, we are almost good with the weight. Oh, but we have stuff to pick up. Yeah. Damn. Oh, fuck. That, that's a really good day. Are you? 
Are you attacking me? Don't be attacking me, just go away. Yep. Yep. Okay. The AI seems like kinda good. He didn't just like s start attacking me. Oh, he's coming back though. But I think he just like walks around and he's yeah, he then he's getting scared. He might get angry eventually though. Fuck, and I don't want to be like super overweight when that happens. I might just drop a lot of spikes here. Drop all of them for now. I think we got all the items here. Okay, so we can like... Slowly, but we can walk. So that's good to go back to town, but 30 spikes are left here. So that's kind of shitty. Oh, the town is pretty far away. We are like here. <laughs> yeah, about that. I wonder if, uh, I don't think like you can see your camp or your tent like being set up, set up here from far away on your, uh, what it's called, the radar, the compass, oh, I meant, damn we have so many of this, <laughs> he's just staring at me. Let's see. Am I gonna be able to see it on my compass? No. Only the backpack. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna drop some food. I don't have the recipe for mm, alpha jerky. I didn't buy it, now I'm regretting that. Because we could probably make a lot of it from the meat. That weighs a lot. Two and a half. But r alpha meat is rare. And really good. It gives you rage boon every time you eat that, so that's like really, really good. Oh my god. Once again, we are fucked with weight. Oh my god, so we have to go like that all the way. It's not the end of the world, but it's bad. It's getting dark. I'm leaving 30 spikes, but that was like here, right? Just gonna leave this here. We can go for, for those spikes maybe eventually and look for more shit. Please don't fucking aggro. Let's just be friends. Actually, maybe if I die I'm gonna be closer to the city, but I don't know if it is, that's worth it or not. That's a big gamble. That's a really big gamble dying. And I kinda don't like, you know, dying on purpose. That's kinda cheap. We could test the sword and probably just die from the deer. But we could also like spawn here and that would be fucked up even worse. So. Guess we roleplay and slowly walk down to the city. Victorious after killing a giant in a high mirror or what was the name of that enemy? Oh shit, we can't even Weaver? Was that a weaver? Craftable dagger and flex. Oh, it says craftable, so I wonder if you can find it somewhere. Manticore dagger. That was a manticore. Yo, but like this two-handed sword... Pfft. See, like, this is why I keep switching. From, like, going daggers to two hands, daggers, two hands. 
Like, I, I was so happy I got that recipe for the dagger. Then I killed him, we got the, the, the piece I needed for the dagger, and I immediately get this sword. I think I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna be carrying, this is only three, this is only one. So I'm gonna be carrying this and this. And like, if someone's, we have to test the sword out, but if someone's gonna be like electric and shit, we're gonna just use the the dagger and the, the axe. We can keep them because they don't wait a lot. This is only 6-2, that's not like 12 or something. That's pretty badass. And we have the pummel attack. Counter an attack with a high impact strike using the sword's pummel inflicts confusion and can chain into melee attacks. This seems really good. You have so many skills though on the on the bars. I'm just gonna bind it to E, I guess, if we don't use the the dagger. We will see what we end up using. <laughs> that sword, though, like holy shit! From from being all about using the new dagger I got, I immediately switched. Seems fucking amazing, and like the attack. Attack speed is 1.1. I, I don't get it how. Because all the swords have faster attack speed than the other kinds of weapons. Can we even like get on a bridge here? We can't, I think. We are light right in the middle from the east. We are here. So we have to go around. We have no water to even get the stamina faster. I could just spam potions, I guess. Restores a bit of max. Uh... It's not even a very high like speed boost <laughs> using stamina. Damn, though, that sword is badass as fuck. I wonder if that's the kind of thing like the sword and the dagger. Those are probably the kinds of things that YouTubers like do tutorials about how to get them <laughs> and we just randomly st stumbled upon those things that's that's why it's like amazing to play games blind like this one or like rpgs and story games playing with tutorials is just like i understand that some people just want to get fast some things they don't want to like spend a lot of time getting those that's fine like whatever they they're they're fancy but that feeling when you find something out you've never seen before and it's extremely good. It's just like nothing else. Yeah, this looks like straight up from anime or something. <laughs> like a badass katana. Actually, it looks like the, the sword from Sekiro uh, that Genichiro was using. The Tomoe, whatever. The lightning uh, sword. It's kind of like that. The town is there. I can see it, but you're so close yet so far away. Oh god, it's almost midnight. Well, pff, that's just like... Last time I looked at the... the clock, it was like uh, 10 p.m. We might get to town and end on this epic adventure. I need definitely some time like, figuring out if I want to use the sword or the dagger. And uh, we can use both for now, but once we like, you know, com commit to one of the skill trees in the future, that's gonna be it. Wait, those are skills for both two hand and one hand, right? Yeah, just melee weapon. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is for axes, but this is for swords. Damn, son. So good. 
I was pleasantly surprised. I was terrified at first, of course, of that enemy. And I was really happy that we won. But I was pleasantly surprised how, like, difficult the, the dodges and the attacks were from that one. He was actually the first enemy that was, like, super good dodging my attacks. Doing a range attack with those spikes. And every time I wanted to run around the tree and heal myself to like kind of cheese it, he was just like jumping over it and pouncing on me. Thank god I got like moments where I was able to heal myself. That was 100% the toughest enemy yet, yet we, we fought and we got it in first try. So I'm really proud. I came a long way <laughs> from a guy that just spamming left click to someone that's trying to, you know use items before fighting and during the fight I'm just like taking a break, trying to heal, trying to manage my stamina. We've came a long way. I wish there was some epic music playing right now. We could play my epic music but that would definitely mute the VOD. Kinda sucks that uh, you can get muted even that if you if you are not monetizing something. I guess on Twitch they are just doing this because they don't. You kinda can always monetize it by like donations and shit. On YouTube though, it's kinda different. I'm not making any money off YouTube. I don't really make any money off Twitch either. But on YouTube, like you know, you get money for views and commercials and shit like this and I don't have like any kind of partnership on YouTube and you can subscribe me and donate on, on Twitch so that's kind of different on YouTube there's no way to support me at all I'm tempted to like use one of the stamina potions but they are pretty good in the fight I have to admit that one of the stamina potions like kind of saved me there too. If I was sprinting around trying to get away from that guy, I would probably never recover my stamina. This is like 80 plus silver. This is 60, 60, 60. Oh, my gold ingots didn't break at all. Huh. Wait, I wonder why my... Was it because... Maybe that was because I was traveling. Maybe there's a, like a travel limit between areas. Or maybe because it was like raining? Would it be it? it? Huh, can you imagine? I wonder if that's like actually the the weather or the travel because I'm pretty sure it started like breaking down at different rates too. Hmm. Not sure. I kind of want to start using the fucking badass coil lantern. I already used nine. I barely used it, I just like misclicked once. Huh. Yeah, I kinda want to keep using that, but it needs coils, I guess. I think at least that it needs coils. I don't think you can put oil inside. It would be cool if you could, but... Oh god, we have to go all around this shit too. There is no entrance in here. There's like three entrances to this town and none of them is like right in front, near, near to the docks. Jesus Christ. No, if we get cold, we are gonna be even slower. Then it's game over. Yeah, fueled by an advanced power coil. 
So I bet. The coil can be swapped for a new one, yeah. I wonder if you can craft those coils in like later in game. But that's a badass lantern. Uh, 34, let's see, a touch. I thought it was gonna be way brighter. Oh, it's cool looking. Oh. Yeah, that's like the same kind of light, it's just like different color kinda. I, do, I wish it was way brighter. It would make sense, right? Like you use a power coil, not some fucking oil lamp. So close. Now you are thirsty, so the stamina region is even slower. Oof. Please don't get cold. If we get cold, we are not gonna be able to move anymore. <sighs> so close to the town. Such a good run, too. So many things we got, Jesus. We have to sell stuff. We have to figure out if we want to keep using two-handed swords now that we got this badass sword. Or we, if we want to use a dagger after getting the badass dagger from the same enemy. I wonder, like, why... There was no NPCs in town that would like tell me, oh yeah, there's this extremely strong enemy, go kill it. I guess they want you to explore and uh, find uh, things on your own, but at the same time it's kind of stupid because people, even if they want to explore and look around for like all the content possible, they can miss out on that and like... A lot of people playing this game and other games, they usually like uh, gonna complain that there is no a lot of content and they just skip stuff extreme like that's extremely cool just around the world because they never like got an NPC that pointed out, okay, go this way, there is like a super strong enemy. Like, at the same time, I like how this game doesn't hold your hand, but some stuff they could, like, for their own good, they could help out players find stuff, at least. Because without finding stuff, you, you're you never gonna experience the content. Oh, do what? Damn, this is worth 300. Damn. Okay, three of those. Damn, 300 too. Look at those badass items. Probably 300 for my sword too. Maybe even more. 75 prayer claimer. Okay. So I think that's all we sell right now. I don't even know. Oh! So that's for like probably sneaking potions. Huh. Interesting. We have so many crafting materials again. Two giant hearts. I have no idea what you do with those. We can kind of risk it and craft a petrified wooden armor or something. I know that the NPC wants to make something out of it. Okay, sell those. Yes. Get four gold bars. Great. Damn, okay. Over, over 1k again. Back in business. <laughs> we are still overweight. We want to sleep with this before I forget. Oh, we want to sell that actually. Bro dagger. Yeah, we don't need to keep that. That's too white too. 
The durability is lower on this one, but obviously that's a, that's an offhand, right? You're gonna be... Uh, the normal damage is even higher on this, plus poison, plus extreme impact. Seven hundred fifty for that one, dude. I wonder why the dagger isn't as expensive. F because the sword just dropped from the enemy, and the dagger we had to get the recipe in the random trunk in the middle of the forest. I found, and then I was like, okay, I saw an enemy that looked badass, that had like a tail that looks like the ingredient. We went there, killed it, got the tail. And crafted the the uh, what it's called the dagger too. Okay, sell this shit. Pro dagger, yes. <laughs> if I sold him this for seven hundred fifty, he would probably sell it back for thousands. Because the NPCs try to scam you always. And they sell this shit. Maybe I should like. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go craft before I start selling ingredients. Yeah, that fucking dagger looks badass too. We're gonna sleep using this now. Drink. Do we have stuff to craft? Oh, we can cook. Actually, uh... Okay, cook first. I'm gonna buy recipes for, like, uh, alpha. Jerky and stuff. Damn, that sword is so badass. I need to keep this equipped though, because I'm gonna seriously forget I, I have to repair those. We have to start using the pistol too. The ammo has weight, and, and it's not that much. The use cylinders recipes? That's an alchemist, this one. Alpha jerky, alpha sandwich. I don't know what's this. Alpha jerky, alpha sandwich. Boom. Don't have any more recipes, so. Let's look now. Damn, such a good day. This one enemy completely changed everything. Such an upgrade in gear. I knew it. Two raw alpha meat. Five jerky from that. What the hell? And each one gives you a rage boom. Rage boons. So, alpha, what is alpha sandwich? Oh, I knew it, bread. I just dropped the bread, though. Okay, so that's... Well, that's more efficient, actually. Five? Oh no, that's more efficient. Because for one, you get three, but this spoils very slowly. We are missing one, shit. Now we don't have salt, either. So, cook the meat. I can cook predator bones? Food waste, what the? Bruh. How are you gonna <laughs> make a food waste out of bones? Shit, and I wasted that. I think you can sell it for a lot. Can we craft potions? Definitely this. Oh god. The ghost eyes don't grow here. It only drops from enemies. 
And I missed like wine before, now I miss ghost eyes. I have so many back at home. Mm, occult remains. How many do we have now? Four. Yo. What was that petrified wood recipe? Craft me something. Copal armor? What is this? Two copal. I don't even know what copal is. No, we have obsidian. But that's for bludgeon weapons. I wonder where you can get that. Or craft the uh, items. Craft me something. Petrified wood armor. So, 252. I have a great helmet right now. Uh, I guess boots. How much do I have? Petrified wood. Five. See, it might be a huge waste of money. Because you have to pay plus give the ingredients. And you don't know what kind of armor it is. So we have to risk it. And I think I'm gonna risk with the boots first. Just to find out what kind of item. It might be like a mage item. Like I have no idea. Yeah, the boots are 14 too. Oof. Yeah, this armor is so good. It has the penalties, but... Fuck it. Craft boots. Craft me something. Oh shit, I don't have money. <laughs> Just kidding. Shopping. And do we sell like... Free? Boom. There we go. Talk. Craft me something. Petrified wood. Oh shit, I sold too much. Huh? Uh, boots, sure. 140. Are you sure? Yes. I'm gonna sleep first. Because it's dark as fuck too. I hope I'm not gonna get too hot here. Our gear is fucked, right? Yep. So like, three hours of sleep maybe for... Three. Repair. Five. What do I eat now? Oh shit, I didn't even fully prepare that shit. That's cool. This combo looks badass as fuck. This looks even more badass though. Jesus. I wish I couldn't see my face in that. Okay, we need to eat something. I don't want to eat the fucking alpha stuff. I guess the normal jerky. Or maybe this, but this is sneaking stuff. It's cool too. So like, I guess, oh, jerky weights one and a half too. This gives you two hundo. Or could eat this. Shit, 
she's not ready, I think. We're gonna go to the NPC with the main quest. Yeah, I'm not done, okay. What the fuck is with the weight? I guess the jerky. And stuff. Oh damn it, we have to sell stuff again. It's getting ridiculous. Adventure armor, not that shitty. Master Trader hat. Look, we have another one of those. I might buy the full set. Stamina cost minus 15, movement speed plus 5. For traveling, this set is so good. Like, this is, this is the stuff you buy, and when you want to go between towns and just collect money without fighting enemies, this is basically what you go for. I'm gonna buy this. We have the boots already. Master Trader boots. Oh, it's damaged? Does it get damaged by walking? I never fought with those boots on. Or maybe in the inventory it can get broken? Interesting. We have to store this later on in the house when we get back. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely buy the hut. Ah, uh, yep. It's so cool that it's only... Like, the pieces weight only one. And just like, you, you can carry that with you. For like, you know... For the times where you want to go back somewhere fast. I want to try it out without like being overweight but oh well, we have to have a lot of free space to do that All right should i get rid of some stuff that i'm just fucking keeping here forever we don't want to sell those because they give you a lot of money and they don't wait a lot the materials that wait a lot are just shitty though. See like advanced crafting recipes. That's why I'm worried to sell this, because you never know like... What if it's gonna be needed? Sell this though. Yeah, the scaled leather is not that common. The, this you can get from hyenas, I have so many back at home. This is free, and I have no idea what to use it on. But it's from the, like, the mantis used to craft weapons, so... I mean... <laughs> Maybe I just should sell everything and be like, fuck it. Until I get recipes, maybe I should just not worry. Because like, yeah, crafting weapons, blah blah blah, but do I really... Can I really craft a better weapon than I have right now? That's my question, yeah. So like, maybe I'm just like hoarding too much. I think I do. I think we should just say fuck it. Used to craft swords. Firestones. This I'm gonna keep. This looks extremely like... Wide variety of weapons. This looks like endgame stuff for sure. This I have no idea, just sell it. Obsidian shards. Bludgeon weapons. Again, I don't know. <laughs> It weighs so much though, so much. I'm gonna craft 
potions out of this, I think. Uh, in a second. Wood we can leave, because if this set is good, we're gonna use it. Scales. So. This. Used to craft Amulite armor. I think that's only the one reason. So. Those keep. For now. Point four. We might end up learning how to use those, so maybe that's something I should st stay with. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, getting better. <laughs> I sold so many things, so look, I'm still like on the edge. Okay, craft potions. Oh, we are out of blue sand, huh? That's a pity. Okay, good. Wow, almost 10. That's a... Uh... Oh, never mind. We have to move some stuff. Like, if we fight hard enemies, we're gonna, like, go fast through those potions. And I've been, like, kinda wasteful with them too, so... We should be getting better now. Maybe I should sell some of those tripwires. But I kinda want to go for my, back for my... For my spikes. But, like, right now we are... Doing pretty good with enemies, we don't even have to use traps. We've been doing good. Like, this weight's a lot. Maybe I should just sell it. But it's, it weights, it, it costs one each, I think. So that's kind of shitty. How much do you need for making that? A linen cloth wood and two scraps. It's not bad. Yeah, but the fact that it's, it's one for each. Oh, that's such a waste, selling those. I might like keep... A couple, I guess. 10. So like 33. Sell 30. Sell 30. Keep 13. We're gonna be getting more and more, I think, anyway. Keep 10. It just hurts that it costs 1. It's such a waste. But I need inventory space. Anything else? Potions we're gonna use. Potions, we're gonna use those eventually. And right now we have a lot of food too. Yeah. So we're gonna get lighter too when we eat. That should be fine. When we figure out how to like use those items or sell them, it's gonna be way better too.
Okay, you're good. Twenty-nine. Don't think if I put those. Actually, oh fuck! Drink this. Empty. Let's see how fast I am. That's normal. That's that's not even sprint. And ready? Ready for the sprint? Mm, déjà vu. Damn. <laughs> wow, that's not that. I don't even have the armor on. I don't have Master Trader armor yet. And that's gonna be probably the highest percentage up. Like this movement speed 15. This is 5. That's gonna be probably like 10. Maybe. Boots are the fastest, probably. Tame, Sam. Looking fly as fuck. For the leader of tags. I found one, the one leading the attack. I'm certain he was the general in army. Then our worst fears are realized. Open war with them is unavoidable. We will need all the allies we can mu muster in the coming months. Their primary objective appears to have been the order all the rent to render old Levant's claims to the region null and void by an any means possible. They claimed innocence, but the evidence leads straight to them. They can't point out any faction or group with within them that would uh, benefit from the this either. While the possibility that Levant's leadership didn't order the attack is, some, is something I am willing to consider the other chamberlains disagree. Where it's upon us, we must prepare and best uh, as best we can. Give me a few days to plan our next move. Okay. Here, you have earned this. Don't forget, Cierzo is still your home. You should visit it from time to time to see if there is any help. Uh, if there is any help, they might need. Achievement, damage control. Well, I hope that doesn't mean that we have to go there because they're gonna die. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, that's smart. Okay, that's traders. I was about to say, did we get a permanent? Fucking. Wait, she gave me. Health potions? Food? Oh, gold bars. Maybe? I'm not sure. Maybe that was just what I bought. Damn, son. I really hope we are not in war with a different faction and I can't get skills from them. That would suck us if they did it like that. Never know. Usable. Copal helmet. Gold ingot. Thanks. Uh... Thanks. Yeah. Poor guy. So that's the helmet for the set I could craft too. Mana cost. Uh, it's definitely not as good as mine. Oh, I'm using Master Trader actually, but. I'll compare. Yeah. Just different resistances. Yeah, Elite Hood is way better. That makes me think that the armor I'm crafting is gonna probably be shit too. But we have to check. We never know. It looks like ass. I'm gonna sell it. I can't even break it down. We're gonna sell it. Deja vu. I've been in this place before. <laughs> I loved <laughs> from from like being over encumbered all the time. Now going with this gear. Damn. 
45 silver and he gave us a gold bar. I'm gonna sell it. has protection against the, those things, but my blue blue helmet was even better than this. Nice. We are good on cash, like really good. I'm hungry again? Really? I don't want to eat my alpha food. Eat the jerky, I guess, for now. And what else do we want to do? We did the quest, we have to come back to her eventually. Oh, we had to ask about something in the tavern? I'll talk to her. Need. Manticore tail? Wait, was that the one for the... Oh shit. Oh shit, was that an actual quest? Manti... Oh shit. That was... Uh, but... I mean... Shit. That was an actual quest. He wanted the tail of this monster. Now the question is, would he give us the dagger too, or would we get like something shitty for that? Maybe there's gonna be more, maybe it's gonna respawn. No, oh, no, there's no way a monster like this will respawn. There's probably gonna be more, or maybe I just fucked up. Who was it? Chef Lasso and Berg. That's the assassin, he wants two beast golem scraps. Wait, he was. Is this the guy in the. next to the gate? it who gave me a quest I can't even remember who else gave me a quest like this one Gabriella who the fuck gave me a quest for the... This guy, the assassin, gave me the one for golems. Was he in the inn? I don't actually remember. <laughs> I love how fast we can run. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Like, my my jog right now, without even hitting shift, without sprinting, is faster than I was sprinting before. Is this the chef? Oh, you're serious? Oh. Wait, what the fuck? That's something else than the, the thing that happened in front of me? The queen found Prince Jaden dead in chair in his room, strangled from behind by a leather strap. Levant is in complete uproar of, over the assassination. Who killed him? Has anyone claimed responsibility? No one, but they did see a priest of Elad fleeing the place and into the desert around the time the prince was killed. That's their prime suspect at this point. 
Also, we got this. Uh, a priest from the Holy Mission murdering a prince. That doesn't seem right. The Holy Mission is politically ne neutral. All they care about is protecting Arai from the Scourge. To truth, this brings to mind the uh, two possibilities. Either the real killer wants to frame the Holy Mission or the royal family of Levant is trying to bargain with the Scourge. I'll let us breath. I can only hope it's the former. Hopefully the truth will come out when they find the fleeing priest. I doubt they will find him a brasser. Desert is huge and no matter how much a lot fo favors you, if you don't find a water uh, out there is uh, out there within, within a few days you are uh, going to drop dead. So I wonder if like maybe someone is framing all the families because right now we have like we have to go to the desert for this quest and the other guys are like the assassins from the marshlands that are apparently guilty too so maybe the assassins uh, framed the, those guys from holy mission or someone is framing everyone okay okay so chef is this the chef the Fucking cooking guy. Okay, yeah, what around? I'd like to talk. You're planning to talk to the Ash Giants. You're either very brave or very foolish. The only giant settlement I know about is the one in the northeast of the Hallowed Marsh. have to write the stuff down because they don't save it for you and I've made a mistake of not writing down stuff before and it's easy to forget especially that I'm not gonna do this today okay so the chef is this guy right oh yeah he wait so he wanted the tail how to talk oh so there is more the manticores in this region have been breeding more than usual this year, so... Okay, so he says he's gonna pay, so he's gonna probably give me money, or maybe something else, but... I'm glad I made a dagger out of it. The next one we can give to this guy, but I thought that was like extremely good elite enemy, and there is more, apparently. So I wonder if we have to wait for it to respawn in the same place, or is there more actually around the map? Who knows? Uh, I mean... We are good on the... We finished the quest. Oh yeah, we have to get the armor from the, the lady. Do this. Sure, you can keep the hat on. Why not? That doesn't over encumber us. Uh, so we can just sleep one more time. This actually, yeah, this is not finished repairing either we can put those shoes on this hut to repair it too why not boom we repair stuff sleep a little like one hour just to sleep boom repair I kind of want to check out this armor before I go.
I don't know if she's gonna be finished. She is, okay. Oh, I put on the wrong hat. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, because I wanted, oh, yeah. because I wanted to repair that. Already forgot. Oh, I'm still fast, even overweight. That's interesting. Gimme, gimme. There you go. Moment of truth. Is it any good? Put on my boots first. My full set. And... Yikes, that's a waste. Yeah, that's a big waste. This armor sucks. A lot of durability, but... Stamina cost, movement speed. Oh, wait. Oh shit, they, they have lower. Yeah, but... Okay, I was... I was... I kind of fucked up for a second here. Uh, so they have less penalties, but... Same impact resistance. Oh, better resistance. No, worse. Am I fucking... Am I tired or something? Why am I like... Why is it so hard? My boots are on the left. Yeah, the better resistance. Better protection. Just slightly... Less penalties. But plus to the fire resistance. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. I'd rather have like general protection. Yeah, we are selling those. Yeah, no thank you. Your stuff sucks. Take it back. Uh, too bad, we paid some money for that bullshit. Good for fire protection, but nothing else. And sell the petrified wood too. This was so heavy and uh, we ended up not even liking those. Well, such is life though. We wasted money again, but we have a lot of money, so I don't really care. Boom. I love this. I love this combo, those shoes. This speed, it's so good. Yeah, so we are done in the town, right? <laughs>